Why, hello, everybody. It is Friday, July 14th. It's hot, hot, hot. Out here in Los Angeles, 95 degrees here. AC's blowing. Although, I gotta say, I'm just grateful I don't live in the south. Because apparently it's like 125 degrees somewhere there. Which... Stop the sun from being hot. That's what I... I mean, right, really, that's... We can find a way to do that. But, uh, that doesn't seem normal. 125 degrees? Did it really that get that hot. hot? Was it 115, 125? I think it was like 115. I mean, that's... That's like not suitable for life. Apparently, the ocean off Florida is up to almost 100 degrees. Hot tub level. Oh, that's probably not good. And basically, the coral there is all gonna die. Hmm. And then all the ecosystem is going to perish as a result of that. Do we need coral, though? Die! Die! I don't. Die! I do not. Do we really need coral? But apparently, the fish and all those little planktons and all that crap does. Die! Die! Do die! we need fish and plankton? No. Probably not. Optional. Fish are optional. What have fish done for you lately? I don't even eat fish. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I do like whales and dolphins, and they'll die too. Ah, oh, shit. You know. Otters are very cute. Fuck. They might make it. The otters might make it, because they eat, like, um, oysters and stuff. I don't know. They seem pretty resilient. Dude, Florida ocean temperatures are peaking at almost 100 degrees. I mean, that's, that is not natural. The funny thing is that the conservatives in the South are the ones that are, like, denying climate change. And we'll see how they like it this weekend, boy. 125. That feels about right to me, boy. I'll tell you what, man. It's just a warm day, boy. Mm-hmm. Death Valley is approaching 130. With a low of a hundred. It's just normal stuff. Having fun out here. Thank you to our sponsors, PayPal Honey, Shopify, Hexclad, and the one and only Gamer Subs. Let's freaking go. Shout out. Uh, quickly, um, want to, I'm wearing the new Teddy Fresh shirt. I can finally wear something with green on it because this is the only day I can. But if you guys want to head over to teddyfresh.com, there's a new collection that you can shop from. Go check it out. There's all kinds of fun stuff. You know what I mean? Just just go to the website. Check it out. See if there's something you like. I mean, you know. What can I say? That's it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, so the title is pretty provocative, obviously. And I'll be honest with you guys. I was ready to move on from the Colleen topics. You know, we had good... We had good titles for today. We had the Danchler, okay, which is a big segment we've been mm -hmm. cooking up. The Danchler. Mm -hmm. I like <laughs> I, it's morphed. The the Bachelor chair for Dan. Right. The Danchler. <laughs> um, and we're still gonna do that, but I mean, who am I to deny a good thumbnail and title, it's especially when it's true? It's not even clickbait, you know. This whole Colleen thing has turned into such a fiasco for the me. Toxic gossip train. Mm -hmm. Girl, you could say that again. The uh, toxic gossip train. Okay, don't say it again. I've had enough. <laughs> Got a show to do. The toxic okay, gossip Colleen, train. come on. You're just trying to claim All my shit again. The toxic gossip Colleen, get train. out of here. All right, stop. Get the fuck stop. out. Oh. Aren't you supposed to be in hiding or something? Thank you. Uh, Ela's not here today because she's at a, a big photo shoot we're doing, and Olivia is on the soundboard because Zachary is at a wedding. Yes, indeed. That was pretty nice usage back there, uh, 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 Olivia. It feels literally awesome. Um, thank you I think you're muted, Olivia. Yeah, so Olivia, yeah, go ahead. Here, I, I, I am muted. You go ahead. Oh, thank you. I said it feels literally awesome being here. Thank you for the opportunity. Absolutely. You know, we we believe in you. Thank you. And so, just stay away from the flocka button because that is copyrighted. The the flocka? Yeah, that that has a trademark. Oh, got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank the you. the author lives in this building. So yeah. I wouldn't want to disrespect. Also, um, Uncle Gabe is here. Hello, Uncle Gabe. Hello. Friday, baby. 
It is a it is a wonderful, beautiful Friday, but uh, it's a bit of a solemn day, isn't it, Gabe? Yeah, I just want to say something. Don't say the word though. Just say if you have to refer to it, just say the f word. Yeah, I, on my recent cameo poll, um, my cameo video, I didn't mean to offend anybody. If you get offended, it, or oh, you guys get offended, I'm really, really sorry. Thanks. I apologize for. It's the cameo is just a post, you know. They want me to like roast people, do all that stuff, and I didn't know that f word. It's really offensive. <laughs> Yeah. And I, I want to apologize, and I'm sorry. That's a good apology, Gabe. That's heartfelt. I appreciate that. Yeah, Gabe. Uh, and I want to sing. Oh, you. Oh, you're gonna do a, a ukulele apology. Okay, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. Yeah. I just want to say I'm sorry. I didn't know what to do. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 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 I didn't mean to offend anybody. And I apologize because I'm sorry. I didn't know that F word was offensive, but I am really, really sorry. I didn't apologize. I'm going to apologize and I'm sorry. The Go on. Gossip train. <laughs> that was beautiful. You know what's funny? The apology felt super sincere and genuine. And then he took out the ukulele and then no. it didn't. Well, you know what? Colleen didn't even apologize in her song. Gabe's doing something new. Yeah, he did his own true. thing that, with it. That's true. No, Gabe, I, I I know you mean I knew you mean well. There was a cameo that surfaced that people were, I guess some some people were uh, offended by, and I understand because the f word is is a slur against gay people, and uh, yeah. Gabe dropped a few f bombs, um, and uh, well now we know, and Gabe has made a, a sincere apology, and I, I feel that I mean obviously I'm not gay, so it's not it's not really directed towards me per se, but I, as a straight man unaffected, I forgive you, and I think I speak for the whole gay community <laughs> that they forgive you as well, <laughs> right guys? Uh, and I didn't mean I'm I'm sorry if I offended everybody that's seen that cameo video. Yeah, you're I felt gay. I didn't hear something. Yeah. So, um, anyway, well, now that it's, fr I mean, do we have, are we going to have like a solemn Friday? Are we going out still and having a fun Friday? Or are we going to just sit in silence and uh, reflect? Yeah, just reflecting on kind of the, the word that we used. I just want to say. Yeah. What? <laughs> uh huh. What is it that you wanted to say? I just want to say, you know, I I don't I don't mean any harm. I don't mean any um. Yes. Right. I don't mean any harm. I don't mean any offense. But Dan, can you throw up a poll uh, for do gay what people I only? To. Here, get Gabe, I'm going to do a poll for our gay fans. Say, so if you're members of the LGBTQ plus community, do you forgive Gabe? Yes, no, or a C option. I'm not. I'm not mm -hmm. a member of that community. Mm -hmm. And Send we're gonna your ID, please. There's a password to get in. They'll know. <laughs> yeah, we will need proof of your gayness. N they'll know. Send gay us a picture, means, maybe okay. of you I'll kissing another dude, or <laughs> gay also means another happy. girl. <laughs> so we're hold on, Gabe. I'm gonna get a pulse on the nation here. We're gonna find out. So I'm not a all member. Right. I'm gonna click that. But uh, all of our our uh, a queer uh, LGBTQ plus community guys, if you, we can get our votes in here, do we forgive Gabe? And uh, so far, it's looking overwhelmingly yes. And the only reason the yes isn't at 100%, Gabe, is because I'm not a member has 36% votes. So I think you're, you're good. Just stay away from it in the future, you know? Love you. Right. No homo. Yeah, you're good, though. We all feel <laughs> okay. good. Yeah. Ooh. All right. <laughs> now it's over. It. Let's get party. Let's get ready <laughs> to rumble. Yeah, Woo! baby. Come Uncle Gabe. Party, Friday, Friday is the only F word we know in this house. Ooh. Can you smash that ukulele? Is that a, a family heirloom, or is, can we rock and roll that it's thing? A, it's, a, it's, a, it's a family thing. I don't want to destroy it. Oh, it's thing, a family heirloom. Okay. I don't want to destroy it. But I just want to say, Woo! It's Friday, baby. Oh, Woo! Party on, bitch! Baby, fuck yeah! And let's get a special message to our gay fans. Let's turn up this weekend. Ooh. 
Let's turn it up, motherfuckers. Uh oh, Rich yeah, Lux donated. It's the weekend, baby. Oh, oh Rich ah! Lux, hold on, this is good. Rich Lux says, "Fuck you, Dan." Love you. No, I he thought did we it. He did it. Shit. He did it. What I'm did kidding. He, he donated. He said, "As president of the LGBTQ plus community, we forgive you. Love and light." Well, oh that's, my god! Oh, that's so nice. Rich Lux. That is huge. That's I huge. I love Rich. I love Rich Lux. Same. Pure luxury. Mm -hmm. All right, Gabo. <laughs> awesome. Yep. Dude, Ian, the, the loud clicking of the cam. Ian, do you usually switch that loud? <laughs> it's just like, well, this is usually not dead silent for extended periods of time in here. All right, Gabe, you have a great weekend. We love you, buddy, okay? Yeah, have a good weekend. All right, take care, buddy. Be good. Be good out there. Be, We're Be good out there. <laughs> Karen says it's her, uh, she turned 32. We need, ev we need proof. Although Zach's not here. She said, can she just get a birthday thing from you, Olivia? Say it again. She's 32. Miss Colleen? Karen. Yeah, what? You gotta, you gotta play sound for her? Do you have a 32? Oh, obviously, obviously. I'm obviously. 32, fuck you. I don't know how Zach how has it. How the fuck does he do that? I don't know. I don't know. He's in his I, own... I think he has one for every age. So if you just type yeah. in 32... Yeah, he has one for oh, each here. 32. Fuck you. There you go. Perfect. 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 Wow. He is well so done. prepared. No, he is. He, He's yeah. very prepared. That wasn't me. That was all Zach. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. So let's see here. Um, glad we got that out of the way, huh? Gabe's a good man, you guys. You know what I mean? We know his heart is pure. Mm -hmm. Right? So let's talk about this, I guess, Colleen Ballinger, lawyer nonsense. Now, obviously, these people, once again... They just don't get it. I was moving on, you guys. I was done talking about Colleen. And now here we are once again with another thumbnail, another title. And you guys can't even blame me, right? Like, this is pretty juicy. You guys can't even be like, yo, stop talking about Colleen already. This is like the fifth video in a row. It's like, well, yeah, they sent me a, a you know. And then if they have a private eye, um, you know, Tailing me, then I'll make another video about it. Just mm -hmm. saying. I'd have to. So this all started when um, Ethan's Basement, which is a fan channel, uh, made a tweet or something because I had not received this letter. In fact, I'll go as far. We checked all of my emails. We received it last night at 8.30. Correct. So before then... Her, her brilliant lawyer had sent this cease and desist to Ethan's basement. Just reflect on that for a moment. You know. Not the public email address I have for work that I check regularly. You know. Not my main email that I check uh, associated with my YouTube account. No, Ethan's basement. Okay. Well, he's a traditional media lawyer, as I understand it, so... The boomer energy is strong. Mm -hmm. What was that? I like that. Yeah, that was pretty good. It was a little bit loud. No? I think I need music. Zach would have dropped in music by now, and it yeah. gets me in the mood. That was kind of kind of good. No, I like it. I feel like I'm in Battlefield. Yeah, I like it. Okay, okay, cool. It's a vibe. Kind of inspiring, kind of triumphant. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Getting ready for war. Mm -hmm. We're not ready if we're not sure if we're going to war, but we're preparing. Right. <clears throat> so Ethan's basement. Uh, oh, I don't know. Is this Twitter? Where is this? Facebook? I don't know. I think it's YouTube. Uh, YouTube community post. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, HG Podcast. Colleen's lawyer, uh, lawyers think I'm you and sent me a cease and desist email asking for Mr. Klein. What should I tell them? Cheers, my dude. Love ya. <laughs> um. So my first reaction when I saw this was like, man, there's no way. <clears throat> now, I know Ethan's basement, this guy wouldn't lie. He's a good dude. Yeah. 
You know him, right? Like, oh, yeah. he's, he's we've been uh, we've been shouting a little bit behind the scenes, and yeah, he's he's an honest person. Yeah. So I was like, well, I'm sure. So I, my initial thought was like, it's probably a troll, because the troll people have got pretty good at making stuff look real. And I mean, for God's sakes, I'm pretty sure that the, this whole calling claiming thing was a troll. So they're out there. But so what I tweeted out, I guess in response. Wait, this isn't me. This is Ashley Producatons. God damn it. <laughs> I typed H3 H3. Why the fuck would this be the first result? Producaton. <laughs> you know, a bunch of uh, famous people follow him. Or like people who think, like Seriously? verified people, yeah. Let I think see. Steve-O is one of them. Oh my, Steve-O. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can't say anything bad about it, but Steve-O. Uh, let's see if it shows us his famous followers. I guess I can't, I can't organize it by. Right, I don't think so. By following. But um, let me just make sure he's not dropping N-words or something. Congrats on your 20-year-old girlfriend, 48-year-old buggy. I mean, that's fine. This guy is pretty off the rails sometimes. <laughs> With yeah. peace and love. This is how you do an apology. Oh, God. What is <laughs> Took this? a little bit of a break. Two weeks, to be uh, exact. It's just, a, it's just the clip oh. from our episode. Uh, his engagement is weirdly good. Like, this had 5,000 likes. Yeah. This he's one funny. has 2,000 likes. Probably because he's the first result when you... Uh, this is the name. real Producaton. Yeah. This one has 8,000? Like, what the fuck? This guy gets more likes than me. <laughs> People think he's you. <laughs> right, I guess so. I, nobody yeah, likes I me. sometimes get tricked. Yeah, uh, me too. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, Producatons, just keep it PG-13, please. Thank you. He's a good guy, too. I'm not gonna... You know all these yeah. guys? Yeah, yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're the kingpin. You're the one that made it. Yeah, I'm, yeah I, I, I am. That's why everyone is trying. So this first started, uh, I tweeted it about it. I said, I'm assuming this is fake until I see it. Because I can't imagine her lawyers would be dumb enough to send it to a fan channel. But if it's real, let's go. So this uh, morning... I am her biggest fan. The first thing I, w I thought of when I woke up was like, all right. Because last night he wasn't getting back to us. He was, it was too late, I understand. So first thing, I wake up, I check the updates. And uh, sure enough... It's real as a, it's as real as, let me think here. I was going to say it's as real as CavCav's donation of hum Habitat for Humanity, but that was not real. Right. That wouldn't be a good analogy. As real as CavCav's wet and reckless charges. Those are real. I think. Those are real. Yeah. Those are so real. Okay. Those are as real, as true, and straight, and hard as Brad the Bull's cock. Mm. <laughs> Hell yeah. Not good? I like that. No, that's real. Yeah. I think it's it fun. It felt like a stretch, maybe. You know he's, hard. You know he's got a hog on him. For it's sure. real. The bull? <laughs> they did two of you at the same time. That's real. That's real. <laughs> it is. It is. It's real. It's just a vibe. Yeah, yeah we all know. We yeah, all know. The, I guess if anyone would know, you guys would know. So, um... Now, the first thing I thought was like, okay, this is real. Okay, interesting. So, what I find interesting first about this, here's the email, of course. Why wouldn't I show it? I blurred out um, the lawyer's email because um, it's fine. I'm, over, I don't, I'm not trying to give shade to the lawyer. I'm not doing that anymore yet. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're a reasonable man. I'm a reasonable man, you know. Yeah. I'm not trying to cause any trouble. I'm just trying to, you know. Listen, I'm a very open person. Yeah. The lawyers need to know that about me. Yeah. And, and the last situation, you asked you asked them, are you sure you want to go through with this? Yeah. With uh, Which BB, one, BBTV? BB, yeah. And now I'm $620,000 richer. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. But apparently her lawyer is somewhat of a high-powered individual or I don't know high-powered but uh, uh, let's say it's a big entertainment lawyer yeah he's a, he is this the guy who's who represents what are you, are you are we saying who it is or not because as soon as you say that you've said who it is okay I won't go there I mean we <laughs> talked a lot about it on Wednesday but okay whatever my first thought was um, he uh, he represents a, a um, Someone who was potentially a cannibal, allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> That's alleged, right? That was alleged? That's alleged. Well, it's... No. His, see, this is his lawyer, so I don't want to misspeak. It was like a fetish. That it was a crazy fetish. He, allegedly, he, he was... He liked cannibal play. He Yeah, play. 
I don't, yeah. We'll say oh, that. Just pretend we'll that. Ca- cannibalism. Okay. He, we are, yeah, he, he, yeah. <laughs> so. He uh, ate with that one. Who else does he allegedly represent? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say his name, why not? I don't want to say his name. Oh, okay. <sighs> Kev, was it Kevin Spacey or someone else? No. No, not Kevin Spacey. No. Bill Cosby. No. Not Bill Cosby. No. Huh. Uh, well, anyway, I was like, so the letter, this is really interesting. The thrust of the letter is they want us to clarify that she did not upload and claim the music. What Now, what I find compelling about this is that they don't care about the all the other stuff. Right. It's just the CD baby shit. They, that was too far. Not the grooming. Not the brother as a pedophile. Well... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, they may be p- planning on suing the kids instead. I hope not, but you're I mean, probably right That's based on the gearing up I'm seeing here. Yeah. Well, it, if she does do that, we'll, we should definitely crowdfund yeah. for them. Because I know from first-hand account how fucked up it is to get sued from someone with money when you're broke. Or, well, I guess I don't because Matt Haas didn't really have money, but get sued when you're not, when you're not, when you're broke. Oh, shit. Wait, he did represent Bill Cosby, allegedly. <laughs> For real? Yo, he represents Brian Singer. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, this guy really Talk rubs shoulders it. with some of the greatest. Man, if I found out that my lawyer was representing these guys, I'd be like, maybe not you. Brian Singer? Prince Andrew? That is so sick. You're the legend, bro. <laughs> and added to the list. Dude, it's almost Danny Masterson. Going to this lawyer is basically an admission of guilt. <laughs> Allegedly. We love him with peace and love. We love him. It's not an it's not that. I'm a I'm just doing an opinion thing, right? Because mm-hmm. he's probably watching this now, so it's all an opinion thing. I'm a comedian, you know what I mean? Thank you. Exactly. <laughs> we have a whole opinion uh collage. Just so you for sure couldn't mistake it. But yeah, she's in great company, man. What's Chris Noth? What did Chris Noth do? Okay, nothing, apparently. He's innocent. Chris Noth is innocent. I never heard of him. But, uh... Brian Singer doesn't get much worse than that. Let me ask you this, lawyer. What, whoever you are. You represent Brian Singer. Would you let him babysit your kids? He's like, no, but I'd let him pay me. Okay, all right. Just settle down, Ethan. I'm not trying to pick a fight with anybody. I'm here to, I'm actually here to bury the hatchet, if you can believe that. Yeah. But I have a problem. I've gone over this before. I don't respond well to these types of things. You know? He's the rapist, he's the rapist, rapist, like, you know, like, amongst the rapist community, he's the one where they're like, this is the guy to go to. (laughs) In my opinion, all alleged. I think they're all innocent. (laughs) They're all innocent. (laughs) Fart joke. (laughs) Oh, man. See, this is, I have a problem. It's my problem, and it's their problem. <laughs> so, um... Shut up. Alright, let me just read this so we can hopefully not stay on this too long. Stop laughing at Sonic! Stop laughing at Sonic. That was really quiet. I had to turn the music way down, because it was too loud. Oh, but I need some hype music, so can we figure that out? Well, the music's still playing, but I have it low, but that But I can't hear it. Okay. I need to hear it. I need to get hyped too quiet. I'm not feeling the excitement. Okay, now I'm excited. Now we're talking. Thank you. That is over stimulating. Now I'm excited. Now it's too loud. Can I say that? <laughs> is that okay? Yeah, you can. Yeah, thank you. Alright, so that here's the letter that was sent to the fan channel and then was sent to us last night at 8.30 p.m., which is after I tweeted, I think. So, like, I'm pretty safely, I'm pretty comfortable saying and to the best of my knowledge, 
that we did not receive this email until... Let's see. This first one was from 19 hours ago. That predates 8.30 last night. Right. 19. Um, math. Divide by 4. Times 4. Divide by 11. I think so. Someone want to crunch the numbers back there for me? Hmm. What time was that tweeted out? I have a lot of help today. I'm crunching. <clears throat> I'm floundering out here. It's is it's. Okay. We got weights and so so no. You guys still thinking on that one? What are you asking? I'm I'm dealing We're, with audio you, today. So. Well, you're not. Yeah, you're not the only one. Sorry, I was I was checking something else that was said. What is it that you want to know? Okay, I'll figure it out myself. Thank you guys. Just it's got It's got to stay. Oh, God damn, it says Producatons again. You um, tweeted it at 6 p.m., I think. 6 p.m.? Yes. Yeah, it says, yeah, it says the time here. 6 p.m. So he, so time. he didn't send the email until two and a half hours after this. Right. Thank you. Uh, well, they sent an email, they s tried to send an email to us uh, the day prior, but they didn't send it. I don't know where that got sent. It's not in my work email. That's it's what not I'm in saying. Any of my emails. When the Ethan's basement guy forwarded us the um, the email that he received in in uh, the down in the email quote or whatever, you could see the original email that they tried to send to us, and it was time stamped on Tuesday. Did they show the email that it they doesn't sent? show oh. where it was originally sent? Okay, so they sent. They're just like Ethan at Ethan.com. That'll reach him. So anyway. This is the email at long glass. Let's take a look. Dear Mr. Klein, you may know some of my clients. So therefore, you should take this seriously. For example, Army Hammer, Chris Noth, Danny Masterson, Brian Singh, Prince Andrew. No. No. He didn't say no. that. He didn't say that. No. That would be funny, though. He says, uh, Dear Mr. Klein, all our, our law firm is litigation counsel to Colleen Ballinger. We are regard, uh, writing regarding a recent episode of your podcast in which you falsely reported that Miss, Mrs. Ballinger submitted a copyright claim based on your prior use of her song. You also falsely reported that Mrs. Ballinger uploaded the song to CD Baby for sale. Neither of those statements is true, nor do you have any information support to make those claims on your podcast. Well, that's not true. I do. In fact, I tweeted it out. And these guys really... <laughs> Colleen, I don't know what you're paying them, but... They're not doing enough. The toxic gossip train. You know. Let me go back. Literally from YouTube. Uh, here's the, what I got. <laughs> um, it says, toxic gossip train. Okay. Colleen Ballinger. This is literally from YouTube. Okay. On behalf, CD Baby, on behalf of Colleen Ballinger. Now, if there's a problem with this, which, by the way, I was very upfront in saying yeah. it's a strong possibility that she's not even responsible for that. So I feel like I was fairly gracious and fairly truthful in terms of the potentiality that this was actually her. And frankly, I, I want the truth, too. I don't want her to be blamed for something she didn't do. So, so, but let's continue. So they says... Neither of those statements is true, nor do you have any information to support making those statements on your progress. I do. Absolutely, I do. I think you call those receipts in the legal, uh, in the law world. Yep. <laughs> uh, you know, the receipts like, uh... I shouldn't make that joke. I really shouldn't. I shouldn't do it. Nope. Let me type it. You guys tell me. I know you guys are going to say no, but... I don't know. It's not even that funny, potentially, but it's probably I shouldn't say that. <laughs> no, don't. I mean, it's just a joke. Thoughts, Dan? I. It, you, if we're getting sued, it, you've already done what you need to do to get sued. So I don't know. I don't this think point, so. I've it. been good. You have not been good. This is all I've ever. How have I not been good? You are. You are attacking this lawyer, saying. So what is he going to sue me for being a meanie? I. 
Maybe. That's why I was, I, 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 that's why I was distracted. I extremely I litigious people to you know, like okay well you know this mine. like you learned being, this last dude week. i'm sorry but colleen ballinger does not scare me i'm being sued by a billionaire okay then he said the receipts like brian singer has i didn't say you voice. read it now i know i'm just saying He's, i think it at this point all bets are off go, go ahead read it, it. The, re the receipts like brian singer has for kids toys that's a joke yeah that's <laughs> not an actual allegation thank you dan didn't need to read it <laughs> I don't think that that, Thanks, I'm trying man. to say that's not the thing that's going to get you sued. Everything I've said is jokes, bro. It's all alleged. I don't know anything. It's all, all right. in my opinion. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> saying they would win, but they doesn't. We'll get in line, bitches. You know Let what I mean? Cook. It's basically like part of my personality at this point. <laughs> it's like, hey, it's Ethan. I'm going to get the record for the most sued asshole on YouTube. <laughs> the highlights has been doing great, so I say keep it coming. Yeah. Unfortunately, the settlements can turn out to be a lot more than it. Yeah, well, but I don't. I don't care. Fair enough. Listen, the thing is, I believe in the First Amendment, and I say, give me freedom or give me death. Right, Dan? <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, it's your money. Right. Exactly. It's my money. Die! <laughs> Although, with you reading that statement, they may be able to come after you personally. <laughs> and nope, nope. I everything I say is on behalf of uh, Ethan Klein Ellis. That I disavow. <laughs> I disavow. I am an employee, salaried employee. Your Dan statements do not do not represent uh, the interests of this company. <laughs> so anyway, um, you know what's kind of funny though? I believe them that she, it wasn't her. I believe them. I believe them too. And yeah. I said that before. But what's funny, he goes, especially I, though it hasn't finished publishing. But after seeing the CD Baby's process for getting shit on platforms like yeah it does seem like it's not that hard to troll like that well what's funny is they're sending me a cease and desist we literally redid an experiment to show how easy it is to do that to um acquit colleen her. ballinger yeah we were trying to clear her name like come trying on to do her a favor like i'm i'm here for the truth and the truth only now if you're wondering about the truth about Brian Singer, <laughs> what's that documentary called? That Open Secret or something? Um, I don't know if that one included him. There's one about him, or it has him in it, about the predators in Hollywood management. An open se it is called An Open Secret. Oh, okay. Yeah. An Open Secret documentary. And now, if you guys were looking to learn about... Some really disturbing stuff about Brian Singer, an open secret potentially would be a good watch for you. I'm not, I don't know if anything in that documentary is true or not. I didn't make it. That's 88% on Rotten Tomatoes though, so people did like it. That's high. I mean, I've always despised Brian Singer, so I feel it's a good in a way to have almost this. I have here what almost a revenue to speak to him in a sense. Like, I've always thought. In my opinion, that Brian Singer's a fucking pedophile. <laughs> right. That's, that's just, just based on what they told me. Oh, that's just in my opinion because it's been alleged. <laughs> Watch, I'm gonna get sued by Brian Singer now. <laughs> it's so funny. Well, hold on. What's the evidence for that? Just so I can say, I mean, I'm alleging it in my opinion, but there is evidence, right? Okay, that was a bit much. I, I, I would have to dig in. I, I I don't know off the top of my head all the details of that. I mean, here, The Atlantic, I right? mean, they made a documentary about it, so I'm sure. Brian Singer's accuser speak out. Because this guy was, like, mainstream. Mainstream! And meanwhile, like, the most heinous accusations you can imagine this guy was up to. And, like, even up to recently, didn't he direct a... Uh, uh, it all fell apart for him during the uh, whole Queen movie. Queen movie? Thing. That was not that long ago. It wasn't that long ago. You yeah. know? Honey but uh, he says, nobody's going to believe you. The Bohemian Rhapsody director, Brian Singer, has been trailed by ac accusations of sexual misconduct for 20 years. Here, his alleged victims tell their stories. So maybe not a, maybe not a pedophile. Oh, he was accused of uh, essaying minors. But let's make sure there's not a correction here. That's why I got sued by CavCav. Let's see. Let's go to the bottom. Um, we have a correction here, Brian. This is a very thorough article. My goodness. It just says 
It just says, this article appeared in March 2019 print edition with the headline, Nobody's Going to Believe You. So, there doesn't appear to be any corrections, but I'm not making any claims at all. You know what I mean? That's just my... Why is... We gotta get my opinion on the screen, guys, even when I'm showing something. <laughs> this is a, the Atlantic's opinion. Is this... Wh where'd you find this photo? You just Google Brian Singer creep and a bunch of photos come up. Oh, dude, you're really dressed as a priest, you sick fuck. You fucking monster, you. Eesh. Feel free to form your own opinion around it. Wow. Yeah, I've always despised Brian Singer. He's one of the most wretched people, it seems to me, alive. So, shout out. But everybody deserves to be, um... Everybody deserves to be defended, right? I guess. Mm-hmm. What's kidding? I mean, everybody deserves a legal defense. No, 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 I hit the nope button, but I said nope. kidding, kidding. So, uh, it's taking me a while to get through this. Gosh, this is one, we've only made it through one paragraph. This is the problem, is like, it, yeah. I could have done this in like five minutes. But, yeah. how long have we been going now? 35 minutes. 35 minutes. Yeah. And I've even, got to, the second, I've even got to the second paragraph. In fact, I might have to take an ad break and then come back to it. <laughs> <laughs> All for a story that uh, pretty much is just that it, nothing happened. How is that a story? No, they, something did happen. They sent me a cease and desist. That's right. a big deal. Hey, girl, what's the tea? Excuse me, Dan. Don't down, downplay this. We clickbait shit. This is not one of those times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, so I was going to say something's interesting. He says, you falsely reported that Miss Ballinger uploaded the song to CD Baby for sale. Neither of those statements is true, nor do you have any information support to make those claims on your podcast. So not only do I have those claims, what I find interesting is they didn't provide any proof that she didn't do it. So, like, I can't sit here and say... Oh, the burden... What? The burden of proof is on the person making the claim. What? No, I have evidence from YouTube. I'm not making it up. YouTube sent me an email that right. said, Colleen Ballinger claimed your shit. <clears throat> so if sure. they're saying, I need you to say that that was a lie, <coughs> I can't sit here and tell you with 100% certainty that is a lie because YouTube sent me that. If I, I would need some kind of proof. Now, do I believe them? I do believe them, but I can't with 100% certainty say that she did not claim those songs and then later regret it. I can't say that. That would be a question for CD Baby or Kid Disc... disc or whatever the fuck, you know what I mean? Distro kid. Yeah. That's true. Oh, and then, I mean, here you can say even, um, golly, this was yesterday before this lawyer stuff even started. Yeah. I said Colleen or whoever was impersonating her, right, yeah. has dropped the claim. Yep. And so, you know, again, this has been part of the narrative from the beginning. Okay. Lawyers don't expect this reaction when they email people, I bet. I don't think they ever... They never met somebody like me. I'm like a, I'm like the genie, baby. You ain't never... Had, met, had a friend like met me. Met a friend like me. Do, 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 do. Oh, I'm like the genie God. of shit. I come out of like a <laughs> fucking crazy. clogged shit yeah. toilet. Be careful what you wish for. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Miss Ballinger did not upload the song to CD Baby, Apple Music, or any of those other streaming platforms for sale or for any purpose. Miss Ballinger has not monetized the song in any way. We don't know who published it to those streaming platforms. Okay. It was done without Miss Ballinger's knowledge or authorization, and we took measures to have the content removed. Thank you. And it seems that your efforts resulted in the claim being dropped, which I appreciate, and I thank you. Mm -hmm. Likewise, Miss Ballinger has not issued any copyright infringement claims to you or to anyone else that featured her video song. We demand that you promptly publish <laughs> a retraction. I guess this is technically a retraction. Well, it's not a retraction. It's not even really a correction, because I feel like we were correct uh, uh, in the beginning. And refrain from making unsubstantiated claims about our client going forward. Um, okay, well, I don't plan on doing that. We'll just stick to the grooming that you did for the kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. The stuff Those that's substantiated. substantiated, yeah. <laughs> that is so funny. That I mean, it is. It. The grooming claims are actually highly substantiated. Yeah. In fact, we had three 
first-hand accounts of it That's on correct. our show. Yep. But don't you? I just don't you find it endlessly ironic that they're like, "Hey, the CD baby shit." <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's hilarious. It is ironic, and it's and it's a bit funny. Um, but yeah, I mean, they they're they're denying the stuff that they're able to deny. Right. <laughs> and. And the other stuff. And staying quiet they're, on the they're, rest, they're, they're, they're I guess. I, yeah, I, mean, stuff, I don't know. We don't, we don't really remember say. anything. I don't remember nothing about nobody. Uh, so, yeah. So, so they say that she hasn't filed copyright. She hasn't f sought to monetize. And I believe you guys. Genuinely, I do. So, uh, I'm happy to put this out there in support of that notion. I don't believe she did. Okay. As I've said from the beginning, I've been very vocal about that. Um, and so, yeah, I believe, I believe you guys. Now, I, I don't know what for sure, you'd have to show me some kind of proof. Maybe some kind of emails or correspondence with CD Baby, where they can show, like, we don't have an ID, or we don't have any identifying information for the per person who claimed these. That would be compelling. That would be more compelling. I say, okay, I'm pretty sure. 99.9. .9. Okay. But I'm not in the business of making definite statements. <laughs> Anymore. <laughs> Anymore. I learned my lesson. <laughs> Although, here's one thing I can say for sure. Brian Singer... I'm just kidding. <laughs> you knew what I was going to say, but I didn't say it. I was going to say he's a good director. Could, you... he's, a, he's a good director. He is. That's the thing about him. I like his movie. He's okay, mid. He's, he's mid. He's I don't mid. know. He made one good movie, if we're being honest. He made the X-Men movies, which I like. I always thought those were kind of mid. Which is the one that you liked that he made? Usual Suspects. Oh, I mean, that's iconic. Yeah. It's a great With movie. With his good friend Kevin Spacey. <laughs> that's correct. <laughs> the two greats coming together. Yeah, but but outside of that, I, I've, never thought, I've never thought he was that great of a director. Okay, well, there's one thing for sure. He is most definitely a director. He has directed <laughs> films. Uh, notwithstanding the foregoing, we recognize that you have since acknowledged on Twitter that someone may have been impersonating Ms. Bellinger. Mm. Okay, good. We request that you please forward us the DMCA notice you receive. I, I can't, I don't know why people keep saying that. I never said I got a DMCA. Never. It seems like a lot of people, it, and I, I understand why it's confusing, but a lot of people do not understand the difference between a claim and like a strike, a DMCA, and a claim are the same thing in a lot of people. It was kind of frustrating because it was like a DMCA would be way worse, and I and I and I want to make clear, it was never a DMCA. It was just a claim. Yeah. It was just a claim to rev share. That's all it was. I want to make sure I responded and gave him the receipts he wanted because I do want. I do think they should investigate that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm a hundred percent with them on that. Where the fuck is the? Hang on, I just want to make sure I did this. Let me just, um, respond real fast. Okay. I'm just going to respond with Olivia, images. can you kill the music, please? I'm going to turn you back up so we can hear the rest God of your God damn it, how do I? Kick it. If you do music in the future, turn it, turn it way down so oh, that okay. I don't have to turn everything down and you can still play sound bites over the music. For sure, for sure. Got it. We're learning. We're learning as we go, people. It's true, it's true. Subject receipts. <clears throat> I mean, you could just check Twitter, but that's fine. I'll do your job for you. <laughs> it's not like I'm busy or anything. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Not, I mean, it seems like a lot of your clients don't have much going on these days, so <laughs> I get it if you assume that we all have a lot of time on our hands. <laughs> But I actually do, but that's fine. Oh, God. So here it is. Uh, that's funny. I've sent it. So now, but I, I, because the thing is, I so actually greatly support you guys in the, in so far as this is a huge problem we've identified. CD yeah. Baby should be yeah. held accountable for this shit. That is super fucked up. <clears throat> I will say, okay, before we slam CD Baby too hard here, mm -hmm. um, Part of the submission process, because I was wondering why it still wasn't up, and I went and logged in uh, last night, and it was, it was in a review stage. Huh. Um, mm. So I've been waiting to see what gets through on this review stage. 
That is interesting. It's, it says, wait, it says, it looks like the being inspected is finished. So we got it. So you own, you just own one of my songs now for no reason. What is the current state? See, we're about to completely uh, exonify, exonify? Exonerate. Exonerate your client. <laughs> Yeah. You can thank me for that too. Thank you. Your release H3, is now in the. H3 no, is it's fucking innocent. Okay, maybe it is still in the inspection queue. Okay. So I don't know. Um, so they clearly do have some sort of process for reviewing these things, but whether they just are going to fast track it without really inspecting it, or somebody may have found a way to get around it or something. In Colleen's case, I don't know. But maybe called. You could do social engineering. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll, but you we'll guys see should look into that. Up. Yeah, you guys should look into that for sure. But hey, I, I didn't do nothing. Okay. All aboard. Yeah, I see somebody say uh, Emily Baker was claimed too, but it wasn't CD Baby. Um, yeah, we we spoke with her actually. Um, I she got her a claim from Dis from Distro Kid, which yeah. is uh, another yeah. one just like CD Baby. Um, so. so the fact that somebody uploaded it to two different ones is very trollish. Yeah. Yeah. So I believe you guys a hundred percent. You know what I mean? I'm with you. I don't think she did it. So, the she's grooming on the other hand. She's exonified. The, on, the uh, grooming on the other hand. Jury's out. Highly substantiated. <laughs> I have a lot more reasons to believe the grooming allegations than not. They didn't. They have no quibble with the grooming allegations. Everything you said <laughs> about her family, totally fine. 100% factual. CD baby, <laughs> uh, we demand you stop now. That's right. Okay, thank you. Please don't sue me, Brian Singer. <laughs> um, all right, we are at forty-five. One thing minutes. I can say for sure about Brian Singer is that he's a pretty good nope. guy. No. Nope. Uh, by some nope. people would say, I don't. I think so. Right. Nope. He's a pretty good guy. He's a pretty yeah. 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 good yeah. guy. He's a predatory, dudely good guy. Nope. That's a joke. I I don't know anything. <laughs> I genuinely don't know anything. I don't know anything. This is a real photo, though. Actually, I know that this is a photo. That's a photograph. Probably. That is a photograph. Very possibly. That's Brian Singer, I believe. But I again. Think that to be true. Brian's like, dude, you're. Ca I'm getting heat just from being with this. <laughs> well, am I catching strays? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, yeah. Coming with that heat. Hmm. All right. Let's thank our sponsors, and then we can move on with the show. We have a great show planned, of course. And um, y'all can stop watching now. The lawyers and stuff. We're not going to talk about it anymore. Although it is fun talking about Brian Singer. That I I can't guarantee. But but I'm done talking about Colleen. Mm. I'm out. Colleen and lawyers, I'm done. As long as you don't fucking, you know what I mean? If, if this, this is where the story ends, then God bless. All right? I got my hands full with Kev, Kev. Can't fight a war on two fronts. You know that. Okay, thank you to our sponsors. I love Hexaclad. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Me too. I actually, actually love, love, love Hexclad. I, I've been using the uh, products that they sent. So I have a bunch of them. So you mm -hmm. took some of the ones home that they used. And what, what products of theirs are you using? I'm using, you know, their frying pan and one of the pots and something else. And it, the the cleaning on it is fucking unbelievable. Dude, like... It's just like no scrubbing required at all. And I know like that they've been... Oh, that's what you always hear about, like, non-stick pans, but these aren't normal non-stick pans. And it pans. doesn't use Teflon or any of that right. weird shit. And it just, everything just, like, falls off of it. It's awesome. It, It's like alien technology. You know how people say Velcro is alien technology? Yeah, this right. is. Yeah. Like, they've got these hexagons, and it cooks so good. It cleans so good. I mean, this pan is phenomenal. And this pan is not, like, cheap, cheap price-wise, but good pans are, like, hundreds of dollars. And this is more affordable than what traditionally is thought of as like the big, big. Also, it has a lifetime warranty. So what's up now? What's up? Yeah, I love this. This is what I use for everything now when I cook. Um, yeah, let me see what to say here. Um, it's forever cookware. 
You can go find them at Hexclad. And you can get a 10% off with the promo code after dark. Wow. 10% off with promo code after dark. Wow. Do they not want what do they don't want me to say anything else? I mean, I just I just love it. <laughs> You're just surprised that the their yeah, I suggested mean, ad copy is so great. They want me to watch this video with Gordon Ramsay. I can talk more Next about it. Here's Gordon Ramsay. It doesn't just start with pans. It's six-piece pot set. Right. Perfectly round out. Round the out. Collection. From mashing yes. the most amazing potatoes to even mm -hmm. tempering the chocolate. I promise you, the combination of hexagonal pieces. They're going to claim me, watch. At least provide a superior that looks good, Gordy. conductivity and a non-stick service and ultimate durability. There's no limit to it what is. you can do when you have the durability of it's insane. I mean, I cannot recommend their products enough. They also have really cool stuff. They've got uh, knives. I love their knife set. Um, but their pans are what they're known for. Yeah, but they got everything else. They got a whole lot of stuff. It's just a great company, a great product uh, partner too. They're really awesome to work with. Good people. Yeah, the Damascus steel. Loving those. I use those for everything, too. I got one of these, the cutting boards for the meats. But yeah, you should check out the pans, if, if nothing else. They're phenomenal. So, um... I wish I had some with me. We don't have any in the office, right? Maybe we... We took them all home. Sorry, guys. We actually wanted to use them. Mm-hmm. Maybe I can bring one of my in though, just to show everyone off. But yeah, it's all—it awesome. is so good. I, if you're in the market for kitchenware, or specifically pans, get your forever cookware. It is that durable, that fantastic. At clad, Hexaclad, ten percent off with the promo code After Dark, guys. Hexclad.com/slash/afterdark! Exclamation! Is that really part of their URL? No. <laughs> They're <laughs> that, just excited. That confused me. I. I I, had, I noticed that when I uh, put it into the description, too. I was like, I'm pretty sure that's going to mess it up. So anyway, go to the link in the description. It's, um, once again... Hexclad.com slash after dark. With no exclamation. No. Nope. we are excited. We are excited. <laughs> Love that. Pretty sure the exclamation would break the URL. Yeah, it does, so... Oh, wait, there's here's the talking point. Uh, they have a 13-piece set. Perfect set to transform your kitchen overnight. Features a full collection of their most popular pots, pans, and even a hybrid wok. The 8-inch pan is perfect for eggs. You pull out the 19-inch pan for steaks. 8-quart pot is there for the pasta tonight. And whether it's a quick lunch or dinner, get the whole dinner for the entire family. The 13-piece has everything you need. Not to mention each and every piece is backed by a lifetime warranty. Stop it. When choosing pans, you have to pick between the performance of stainless steel or the durability of cast iron and the convenience of nonstick. But with Hexclad, you get it all. They've got the hybrid technology that gives you the benefit of all three in only one pan. Pat they have patented laser, laser etched hexagonal steel ridges. Okay, that's what that is. Boost your searing power. While the nonstick valleys contain its high performing nonstick, non toxic. Coating infused with diamond dust? Ooh. Did they say diamond dust for extra toughness? Wow. These are the best pans you'll ever own. Hexlight truly checks every single box when it comes to picking your cookware. They are metal. Utensils safe. That's crazy. Dishwasher safe. They are oven safe up to 500 degrees. They are non-toxic and induction ready. You can cook gas and induction. Mm-hmm. It even has a stay cool handle so you can saute with ease. That's it. So how are you going to have that special someone over for dinner with those nasty pots and pans you're working with? No. For a limited time, get 10% off with that. Code after dark at hexclad.com. That's 10% off. Hexclad.com with code after dark. Bon appetit. Let's eat with Hexaclad's revolutionary cookware. Please support them. Thank you. If you're in the market. So that was about 20 minutes. We have three more. We should really crank these out. I love Shopify. <clears throat> Ela's usually here to co-sign me on the Shopify stuff. But uh, as far as the platforms go for e-commerce, Shopify is the pinnacle. It is the S tier, the gold standard. 
from all the way from beginners all the way up to massive billion dollar companies. They're all using Shopify. And what's great about Shopify is it allows you to grow from that small Etsy business all the way up to the billion dollar company. It really does. And in a sense, we have done that, not billion dollars clearly, but we have grown from this tiny little uh, clothing company with three products to now we've got like 30 employees and um, you know the rest. Uh, it's so customizable. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Shopify's a commerce platform revolutionizing business. We hit that. Yada, yada, yada. We know about that. Shopify puts you in control of every sales channel. So whether you're selling satin sheets from Shopify's in-person POS system or offering organic olive oil on Shopify's all-in-one e-commerce platform, you're covered. You know what's really cool? When we did a pop-up, we were selling stuff and they even gave us a point of sale system that we could use connects directly to our inventory on our website. How genius is that? Genius. Pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, once you reach your audience, Shopify has the internet's best co converting checkout to help you turn them from uh, browsers to buyers. Fantastic. Um, a moment you go. Oh yeah. So I don't know about all that. <laughs> Shopify powers 10% of all e-commerce in the U.S. Wow. Shopify is truly a global force powered by Allbirds, Rothy. It powers Allbirds, Rothy's, Brooklinen, Teddy Fresh, and millions of other entrepreneurs of every size across 170 countries. They've got award-winning help there to support you on your way to success. And uh, it's just so customizable with the themes. You don't have to know anything about programming. They've got people there to help you to level up your website. I mean, me and Ela don't know anything about programming or building websites, and we did this ourselves. That's the bottom line. Obviously, we have help now, but at the time, we didn't need it. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at Shopify.com slash After Dark. All lowercase. Go to Shopify.com slash After Dark to take your business to the next level today. Shopify.com slash After Dark. Cha-ching! Cha-ching. Cha-ching. Do you know where that one is, Olivia? I think it's on Farago. The Shopify cha-ching. It's like up at the top. Hey! Yeah, so if you guys are basically want to help support the show and you're looking to make an e-commerce business, <laughs> it's Shopify. Thank you to them. Maybe we should talk a little bit and then do the other two. This is like... This is a lot. It's pretty heavy duty. I don't know why, because sometimes, like, we'll do a whole week of shows. And then we had one ad on Monday, and then four on Friday. I was like, can we move it around a little bit? I don't know, but that's what that's the way it is sometimes. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I'll do the, the next two in a, in a little bit. You know, I don't want to drag this on too much. I want you guys to to enjoy. So let's do, okay, so you didn't want, oh no, the cat pervert. You wanted me to watch this, but uh, he I got, got claimed. claimed. Yeah. Dan told me, do not watch this video. Yeah, I'm very sad about it. <laughs> Who claimed it? Vir some viral, viral hog, hog shit? Viral hog. Fucking viral hog, man. I hate their business model. <laughs> yeah, me too. Anytime there's a small video that, here, I mean, this is the video, maybe you guys have seen, I'm not going to play it. What happens in it? Uh, so the gentleman that you're looking at is very upset because his cat, not the person recording, but the guy in the video uh, that we're looking at, yeah, that guy's cat keeps going over to the neighbor's house I'm because not, his cat, cat likes them more or something seems to be the implication and he's upset about it. <laughs> That's awesome. And the other guy's like, what the fuck are you talking about? You're yelling at me because your cat keeps coming into my yard, <laughs> That's dude. Awesome. And then the guy starts freaking out and then he starts calling him a cat pervert. Over and over again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He thinks he's fucking jerking off his cat or something. I, I don't know. Uh, well, unless, um, unless, um, <laughs> nice, nice, Olivia. God, why can't I remember? Thank you. Stevie, Stevie, the dog guy. 
Doug? Uh, yeah, uh, Steve. Uh, Steve will do it. Steve will jerk. Unless Steve will do it works there, or yeah. lives there. I, I don't, don't think. I don't think he's the one recording I think now. You're good. Yeah, it's a shame. It's a very funny video, and Ethan was gonna raw react to it on the show, but uh, Viral Hog fucked it up for all. Yeah, of so us. anytime a small video like this goes viral, they'll reach out. They're so fast. They're like, "We'll give you a hundred dollars for exclusive rights in perpetuity," and they're like, "I guess sure, hundred bucks." Yep. And then they just or, terrorize like, the internet style <laughs> forever, man. Okay, H three service dog. This was pretty uh, great. Check this out. There's somebody out there with an H three service dog. What a good boy, too. You. Peace and love. Do not pet. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, with all of the uh, logo design on. Friend that, of yeah. the show. Access required. <laughs> I'm her family. I do not, not separate. This is awesome. I love you guys. I love you both as a as a pair. Okay, Ethan. <laughs> do not pet. Oh my God, I love your dog so much. What Very cute. Hacking dog. I love you guys. You guys are the best ever. I love it. Your dog looks like such a good boy or girl. Service dogs are heroes, man. Mm hmm Okay, do there's some Dr. Is drama. Oh, yeah. oh and love, you must boy. be loving this. Oh, yeah. I love it. He was so it's happy. Great. So here it is. It's like it's the island boys making out. <laughs> <laughs> I got him. That's Dr. Is? What? Oh, God. What the fuck? That off the fuck? screen. That's the island boys making out, you guys. That is so gross. I think it's so funny of them. I think they're funny. Yeah. Hold the phone. I think they're the fucking Hold the phone. What the is internet, funny about this, love? They're just kissing each other. They do it for the no, vine. But, no, but they're doing incest for <laughs> They're doing incest for the vine. They're, they're doing, not doing it for it, the vine. But I mean, I think it's, it to be funny. You know that, right? It's comical that they're doing it. Huh? It's comical <laughs> that they're doing it. It is funny <laughs> to me. Yeah, it's like they're like these like very cool, down with like pop trends, whatever. Boom. Incest porn. <laughs> I love that shit. It's so funny. Because they're, I think they're doing extremely well on um, OnlyFans. They seem to have recorded a big, vibrant community of people who are into two no, twin, no, uh, identical no. twins, you know, no, making out. No, no, So one more time. I Sorry, I just wanted to jump scare you guys. <laughs> he sure did. Yeah. No, I had heard about that. I hadn't no, seen it. The top comment is, haven't any of you seen gay kissing before? Sure. That's not what's going on Wait, here. Wait, what? <laughs> that's that's not, the problem. not the problem. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's funny that they're trying to kiss him. <laughs> I got to make it clear. That's not what's going on here. <laughs> all right, let's talk to, about Dr. Ids. He's a friend of this show, so I'm going to give him all the benefit of the doubt in the world. Maybe we should Remember have him call in. That was He's available. Um, yes, let me see if I can get into my email. But yeah. so... Here's Dr. Ed's video, which is a fantastic video. As you guys know, the, the World Health Organization not so much said that uh, aspartame <laughs> may cause cancer, but that um, I think the media spun it that way. But Dr. Ed's has put, he's now fully rejected it and shows that uh, the World Health Organization has retracted their statement or clarified. Here it is. Circulating stating that aspartame may cause cancer. Well, as I predicted a few weeks ago, the Joint Expert Committee on Food Additives just confirmed right now that aspartame does not cause cancer in humans and that it is safe. Time school. You see, the issue with these headlines was that they took IARC's conclusion that aspartame was possibly carcinogenic, which was Group 2B. And as I've already pointed out, Group 2B means that there is inadequate or limited evidence of cancer in humans. So basically, there's fudge all data in humans showing that it's cancerous. But of course, media outlets don't know the first thing about research, so they took the phrase possibly carcinogenic out of context and ran with it. Mm -hmm. Now, Jekfer have also reaffirmed the acceptable daily intake of aspartame, which is 40 milligrams per kilogram. And in reality, it would take a lot more than that because these safety limits are extremely conservative. Right. They are safe by a factor of 100. And research shows that even the most diet drink loving Americans only reach 10% of the acceptable daily intake. And right. not to mention this brand new systematic review looking can get dozens of studies on aspartame. Mm -hmm. And surprise, surprise, they concluded that there is a lack of evidence for it causing cancer. Now that the WHO has once again reaffirmed the safety of aspartame, <laughs> along with Europe, the FDA, and every other major health organization, even if food and drink with aspartame isn't your preference, these safe products should be available for people looking to reduce their sugar intake and total calories. So, aspartame is safe, and remember, Class dismissed. facts don't care about your feelings. Class dismissed. Cheers. This has aspartame. 
Cheers, cheers, my, cheers dude. my dude. Cheers, cheers, my dude. Cheers, my dude. I love aspartame. 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 Shout out. <laughs> so here's the here's the problem. Fantastic video. Do you agree, love? Were you compelled I mean, by that? I mean, again, he's like taken from studies, no, and no. it's great. And uh, yeah, I I hear him, and it sounds great. I no. believe it. Now here's but, the here's where it gets intriguing. Yep. There is a tag here that says paid partnership, and you go, I don't remember there being a yeah. sponsor in there. Hmm. And then the tag is empty, and you go to the comments, and you see people are leaving the same comment. Here it is. Uh, now we need conspiracy music, Olivia. Okay. What Haunted the fuck mansion. was that? That was, was so scary. It was perfect then. Wait, <laughs> I've got something. So someone said, just curious, what's the paid partnership at the bottom? Dr. Idz responds, and he's being transparent, I guess. Or I guess he has to, uh, legally, but he's being transparent. Um, the ABA, which is the American Beverage Association, a lobbying group. Yep. An American lobbying group. And you know how I feel about lobbyists. Is there any good lobbyists? Or are they all scum? Well, I mean, yeah, I'm sure there's good law. Yeah, it depends on what cause is being lobbied for. You know? But it's the something that you advocate causes for. Causes are good. Lobbyists are not good. Yeah, you can take issue with the uh, kind of institution of the, lobbyists. The profession and, of lobbying. Yeah, I'm but, not, um, you know, th there are lobbyists that are lobbying for positive things, sure. I'm lobbying for a lobotomy for uh, anybody who doesn't drink Coke Zero. I'm sure <laughs> they agree. ABA. You want Taco Bell, love? You have a credit today. Yeah, I would love some. Oh! Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's your day. Yeah. No, I'll, I'll take... A, you said Taco Bell party, so I can order a little bit more than usual. What does that mean? You're trying to, <laughs> you're trying to order up for the whole week? Yeah, he's probably Shit. trying to stock up. That's but what he does. Tell me what you're ordering before you do it. I'm curious. I want the list. Sure. What I'll, are you thinking about? How many items? <laughs> no, I'm not going crazy, but I'm think, thinking maybe like 40% more than what I usually would order. Tell me how many items. Four crunchy, three soft, and uh, shumpa lumpa. And Something how much like are you going to eat of that right now? All of it, probably, or like almost all of it, yeah. Oh, for real? If you're going to eat it right now, you can get whatever you want. Shit. You can get more than that. Get whatever you want. God damn. Oh, yeah, of course. Get what you want. Come on, bro. God damn. Thanks, dog. Taco Bell, too. I'm not ordering steaks here. No, no, it's Taco Bell, dude. Yeah. All right, cool. So, but anyway, we're getting off track. Yeah, yeah. The ABA approached me after seeing my dozens of videos on sweeteners and how they're safe. It's about time I got paid for my efforts interpreting data. Mm -hmm. So, this doesn't discredit him on its face. Of course, I'm a huge fan of the ids. I yeah. love ids. Mm -hmm. But it does, I'll say, it is, a, a, it is at least a little bit of a blemish. Yeah. I would say, if he's being compensated financially for, for these videos now, now he wasn't, now I'll say this, he wasn't being paid up until this one. So those no. were all for love of the game. He, he was actually. How do you know? Yeah. If you go, I sent another comment in the Discord. Wait, what the fuck? How long has this been happening? Okay, hold on. Cause you, didn't we ask him when he called in last if he's being? Um, I could be misreading this, but he says he's been saying the same thing for years. Um, no, he's saying what I said. I feel like this may uh, make people not trust you. Just be super upfront about it in the beginning of your videos. That's, uh, yeah, I mean. Anyway, Doctor, it says you do realize I've been saying the same thing for years, right? Go look at my previous videos from 2021 on diet drinks. He's saying, I've been saying the same mm. thing. Despite okay. not being paid back then. It, says, it literally says paid partnership in big letters at the bottom. They don't have an account on here. What more do you want? I don't know. I've never done a sponsorship on TikTok, so I don't know. What the tagging process is, it is a little bizarre that it just says at nothing. I think he should. I, 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 it's one of the things I hate on every social media platform 
when they try to when people try to hide that they're sponsored. And I'm not saying he's trying, but it should be more clear. It should be like obvious. I don't like these small tags that are hidden away at the bottom. I think it should be way more clear. Well, that's just my opinion. Well, I think as far as the consumer is concerned, that's I think that's the way they're supposed to do it. Yeah. It's supposed to be uh, clearly uh, and uh, uh, what's the word? <laughs> Whatever. Legally, this would definitely not hold up, I think. Un um, up until that comment. Possibly. That I'm not sure about. That I'm not sure about. Although it doesn't say the name of the organization. That could right. be a problem. But so I don't know how to feel. I mean, no, I know how to feel. I still trust him. But I, I do find it interesting that this is happening. You know? That tag is because of love. <laughs> love, love exposed the whole thing. Well, we did ask him last time he was on if he was being sponsored by them at all. Did we? I, don't I think we think... asked if he ha if he's been paid by them, didn't we? I don't think so. Didn't you? I think Love asked something about like if his articles were like paid for by Coke or something, right. like the research. Yeah. Right. He, yeah. He, I he, think he said he's not been financially compensated. I got annoyed a little bit at him because he said there is no. Uh, biasy in research, no funding biasy, and I've had people reach out to me say the opposite that there is quite a bit of funding biasy. But now I'm curious if he, he if he can argue that is there funding biasy in promotional content online? Well, I know what he'll say. You, They're just paying me to say what I've already been saying. Right, but no one is paying people to say it's bad, or maybe they are, but not at the same extent. Do you he'll know say, what I mean? Kinda? He'll say this: if something bad comes out, I'll report it regardless. Sure. And I think he will. I believe uh, But still, I do think funding bias is a thing. Well, I was saying, I hope they paid him a lot, because this is kind of... It kills the vibe a little bit. Yeah. It does, I'm not going to lie. But he's still my guy. <laughs> sure. So hopefully they paid him like six figures at least for this. <laughs> Maybe seven. Life you think they're money. throwing millions of dollars at him? It's, it's big coke. Yeah. It's big soft I mean, drink. They've the, got money. If they needed a doctor to fight for it. Coke mm -hmm. got the money. And That's I'm not saying he is, because I, I do think he's a good guy. I do like him. But I'm just saying. I well, mean, let me ask you this. If you are like, guys, let me tell you the truth. The earth is round. Everybody's like, the earth is flat. You're like, no, no, no. The earth is round. And then NASA's like, I want to sponsor you. Mm -hmm. You take the money. NASA's like, I want to pay you to keep saying the earth is round. Your thoughts? I mean, the people that believe the Earth is flat are extremely anti-NASA, so that that likely would fire them up. That and, would make that make would not help that. convince anybody. Right. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. This is this is poisoning the well. Mm -hmm. I I am I'm on your side, but there's a lot of people that are still skeptical. You know what? You know what the problem is, though. It's definitely not me. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. It's everybody else. So I don't know, that's kind of interesting, right? I mean, do you, you guys agree with me on this? Oh yeah. I think it's a big mistake I think, on his part. I think put, I think framing it as poisoning the well a little bit, as far as his credibility, is, is a fair criticism. Yeah. 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 But again, I'm going to be clear, I love this guy, he is credible, he's super serious, he's good at his job, I love people. he has credentials, I love people. but it is an interesting twist in, in, the, in the whole Dr. Id saga. Hmm. I'm still, I still want the, because there's a lot of people, like doctors and shit like that, that speaks against it. Maybe we should hear another doctor out. Or, cause, Actually? Because I, I have, when, when he comes on, I can prepare some stuff, but I run out of juice pretty fast. Of course. Because I can't really, but I'd be interested in someone that has like, well, the same. If we of, can find someone, or if anybody's watching or yeah. knows someone that is a researcher that is... Uh, has, disagreeing has, with him? Has sure. Dr. Id's not done that exactly? Like, hasn't he debated a few other he, researchers that are like anti? I don't think so. I, I, I just remember the meat guys he was getting in it. Too. Oh, like, I'm confusing the, it with Dr. that. Dr. MDs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The meat carnivore boys. Yeah, the guy that, <laughs> the guy that bailed on us because you said he was a lunatic. I'd be curious specifically on... <laughs> I don't take it back. Right? <laughs> I'd be specifically, I'm curious on the funding biasy. Like, I don't really care if it's unhealthy or not. I'm curious about funding biasy. That so, I think... Again, with our limited knowledge, yeah, this is kind of just 
you can ask ChatGPT legit. I think it would have a good in insight for us. Mm -hmm. The specific journals he's talking about, which are like the gold standard. Yeah. He's probably right that there's very little, very little sponsor bias or funding bias that gets through there, right? Uh, yeah. Because the whole the whole system is built to prevent that. That being said, I don't know. Yeah, no, I mean, obviously I don't know either. I just think... But let's see what ChatGBT says. I hear Dan typing up. That's not what I, yeah, I was... Were you oh. asking if there's any sponsor bias, bias in research? Do you remember what journal he said he pub he was reading from? He said it was like the most credible in the world. Well, I brought up all the articles that he mentioned, has ever mentioned. And all of them are funded by similar companies that No, but which funded. journal was the oh. was the research published in? That's oh, I don't matter. know. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, I don't know that. Yes, it's there can be sponsor bias in research. Sponsor bias occurs when the funding source of a research study influences the design, implementation, or reporting of the research in a way that favors the sponsor's interest or desired outcome. This bias can arise from various factors, including financial conflicts of interest, ideological bias, or the sponsor's desire to protect their commercial or political interests. Well, so he says specifically the journal vets for all this. Yeah. Right? Sure. Oh, he's available? Mm hmm Fuck it, let's get him on. If the ids is here, I mean, he's shit. He should be able to speak for himself. You know what I mean? It's only fair to give him a platform. We know what he's gonna say, though. <laughs> we gotta give him a shot. Yeah, the sure. man, The man deserves the right to speak for himself. I want to ask him what journal it was, and then you can ask ChatGPT if there's, if there's a bias in that journal. <laughs> I have nothing to no, argue with him today, because I'm on the same page as you. I, it's a blemish, I suppose. No, but, no, I, and, yeah, I don't yeah. expect you to argue right. with him, right? It's, I just think he should, if we're going to talk about him, you know, if he's available, then he should call in. Um, Zach needs the link. Can someone send that, please? Or uh, Olivia. <laughs> yeah, Zach Olivia. needs the link. There we are. The soundboardist formerly known as Zach. <laughs> um... Peter says bias is unavoidable. The important thing is reducing bias. Right. By, right. And the question is how much reduced is the bias? Because Big Sodi Pop is out there. And they are rich, boy. These are the biggest companies <laughs> Big in the world, Sody to be honest. Pop. Yeah, man. You should be afraid of Big Sodi. That's awesome. They're coming for all of us. Hmm. So as we wait for the ids to call in. Um, Remember the head. Let's see what else we got. Oh, let me thank a sponsor while we wait for ids. PayPal Honey, we love you, PayPal Honey. I love, 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 PayPal Honey. Can we, can we kill the spooky music for the uh, ad read? <laughs> I don't know what this is supposed to mean, Cameron. But, oh yeah, it's a poison free well. It's a pure, pure... <laughs> Water well. This is naturally occurring spring water, Martin approved. Mm-hmm. Poison free. <laughs> um, thank you to PayPal Honey. Today's episode is sponsored by PayPal Honey, the easy way to save when shopping on your iPhone or computer. I love honey. I've saved money so many times with honey. It is the magic browser browser plugin that automatically browses the internet for coupons and applies it automatically at checkout when you're buying stuff. The range of stuff is incredible. Electronics, food, furniture, clothing, everything. And I have saved, me and Ela combined have saved definitely thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. I mean, like here's one, I think it was a, a, cough, a table or a couch or something. Without even trying, we were never going to save this money. Automatically, boom, $400 saved. I use Honey on all my browsers because it's utterly absurd not to do it. It's saving you money for doing literally nothing, and it's free to use. Imagine you're shopping on one of your favorite sites, and when you check out, the Honey button appears, and all you have to do is click Apply Coupons. Wait a few seconds as Honey searches for coupons you can find for that site, and if Honey finds a working coupon, Bob is your uncle. You'll watch the price drop magically. Just like that. And also exciting, Honey doesn't just work on desktops now. It also works on your iPhone. 
Just activate it on Safari on your phone and save on the go. I love it. I love it. You guys use Honey, right? I mean, who Sure do. I'd be a fool not to. Yeah. Try it out. I mean, it's so easy to install. It's literally just one click. Um, and then if you don't like it for whatever reason, you, it's as easy to uninstall it. But I don't know why you would. It's just so easy. Um, so if you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting the show. Get PayPal Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash after dark. That's joinhoney.com slash after dark. Thank you, guys. Please consider... Um, Installing this free uh, plugin to support the show. Thank you, guys. And finally, as we wait for Ids to call in, Gamer Sup Nation Alert, everybody. Sup, 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 sup. sup. sup we sup. love. Uh, I've almost killed mine. Look at that. Down at the bottom. <laughs> Damn, son. Gamer Sup. I love Gamer Subs, man. This beverage would for sure be Dr. Ids approved. Because it has no sweetener. First of all, if you're trying to lose weight, you got to cut the sugar. Hit the gamer subs. Because it's going to hit you with that caffeine. They have non-caffeine too, if that's what you're into. But the flavors are amazing. It's going to hydrate you. It's going to keep you off sugar. It's going to keep you energized. It tastes amazing. And they've got this big, cool-ass cups. There are so many flavors to choose from. How many flavors are there? I mean, it's, it's so much fun. You get into, you can try new flavors. You find your perfect dozens, ones. Dozens and dozens. Black cherries, mine. I still got to try the pina colada one. That sounds really good. And then you're doing the mango, Dan? Is that what you always do? Uh, no, I always do the blue raz. Oh, yeah, blue raz. Yeah. Anyone else hitting it? Oh, damn. A, B, A, B, no, A, B, A, B. What, fla what flavor is that one? I, I won't say it. I'm doing an ad here. Is what, that dragon what? fruit? Oh, dragon fruit? Or passion fruit? Passion? Is that okay. a new one? <laughs> Uh, it's the first time I tried it, but I really like it. Gamer sup goes down <laughs> really? easy. Goes down nice and easy. Don't worry, it's got, AB has a tight little throat. He has a tight little throat. He has a clinical yeah, issue. Yeah, this is an AB issue, not a it's gamer sup issue. Oh, yeah. the same way, but I love it. And I love you are a gamer sup. You've transformed, right? He's an aficionado yeah, I've, now. I've tried all of the powder based, pretty much all of the powder powder based um, kind of energy drinks. By far the best. Thank you. And uh, one of the main things I like with this is that the pow uh, powder dissolves fully. You will oh. not have to shake multiple times. Uh, with competitors, you're gonna have to shake every time you take a drink. Really? Yes. Interesting. Holy, that's this, a huge advantage. Yeah, it is. Yes. They, See, I haven't. I haven't drank any of that other lead-filled crap. Right. <laughs> I stick with gamer subs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but th this blends perfectly and it stays blended like for multiple hours. It's great. Holy smoke. Yeah. Okay, I didn't even realize it was on that level. Yep. Well, thank you, love. Mm -hmm. Go All to right. gamersubs.gg and use code H3 to get free shipping on a free sample. Oh, they're doing this. It's I love happening. What they do. Guys, this is the best. Next 48 hours, use uh, code H3 and you get a free sample. Use code H3 to get a free shipping on a free sample. That means you don't have to spend, you don't even have to spend any money. You literally go to the website, type code H3, and they send you a free sample. You don't even have to pay for shipping. Do you understand what I'm saying? Free means free. Try it. See if you love it. This was Dragon Fruit Punch, by the way. Nice. Really good. Nice. And in the near future here, Ooh. we will have our own flavor. Very excited about that. Yes, indeed. Yeah, I hope it. Yeah, I think it came out really good. I'm excited. Yep. Yeah, if you missed the 48 hour window, you can still use code H3 at checkout for 10% off. But guys, if you wanted to try it, now's the time. Go to gamersubs.gg, use code H3, and get free shipping and a free sample for the next 48 hours. Thank you. Thank you to Gamersubs. Please consider supporting one of our sponsors. Thank you. Peace and love. We did it. Got through all four. Um, I see people spamming Emily. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Is, did Emily Baker say something about this, or, or is that just unrelated? What does Emily mean? Uh, let me check. I'm uh, sure. What it, what was the comment that you saw? I just I saw a few people typing Emily. I, I don't know. If, yeah, I think okay. she might have been claimed too. No. Yeah, she she was claimed. We we covered that. it earlier. Mm. Yeah, sorry guys. I usually don't like to do four ads. I know it's like a lot, but uh, I don't know why they they do it like that. But I hope you guys don't mind uh, occasionally 
having to listen to me do that. Here's Emily Baker. She just posted this this morning. Okay, this is fresh. Update, Colleen Ballinger's lawyer responded by saying neither are... This is the same thing. He yeah. Does. yeah. Yeah. Here's her original one from five hours ago. Sometime overnight, in, interstreet recordings for Colleen Ballinger copyright claimed my members only live stream for revenue sharing. Who else has been claimed? So she says, has my claim been released yet? Yes. Some, if it's not, is not them, someone is playing a dangerous game right yeah. now. Yeah. I yeah, think that, someone actually went to jail for this recently. Really? Like legit, yeah. Jeez. I mean, it is a uh, theft. I mean, you're literally stealing someone's Fraud. money. Yeah. Fraud, theft. Yeah, not smart. Not anywhere as close to bad as what ba uh, Brian Singer's uh, uh, alleged of doing, but still bad. Right. Uh, I have uh, ids in the waiting room. All right, let's talk to our boy. L love, listen to Love's order. Let's see. Mm -hmm. One creamy Chipotle crispy chicken taco. Yeah. One avocado ranch crispy chicken taco. Mm -hmm. Two crunchy taco supremes. Mm -hmm. A chalupa supreme. And a crunch wrap supreme. All without cheese and tomato. That's fine. Hell yeah. Let's I'm get hungry. after it. Let's go, dude. Thanks. Somebody here can order for us because um, I know we're running light. <clears throat> yeah, we'll we'll get it done. I'm I can get something too, right? It's not Cam. Can I have one? Oh no. Can I'm I have one? Cam. Yeah, of course. What are you guys talking about? It's a party. It's a party, dude. What do you want? Do you I don't know. I got the Nacho Bel Grande, and it kind of grossed me out last time. You Nacho. need you need the creamy Chipotle crispy chicken taco. Wait, you, you tried that last time, no? It was you liked good. It. Yeah. I don't like the soft tacos, though. Ah, shit. You yeah. probably sub hard shell. I don't, I think, don't so. think so. It's no. pretty big and meaty. Oh, okay. Yeah, unfortunately. Avocado ranch crispy chicken taco. This is out of control, man. It's good, dude. I like it. Let, just get me, like, two uh, taco supremes. Let's keep it light. Let's keep it breezy. Yeah. Two... Tacos. <laughs> Let's keep it light. Two Taco Supremes. That's what? That's not... I guess by Taco Bell standards, that is light. That is very light. Taco Supreme calories. It is so light, bro. If there's a lot in that... Oh, wait, yeah. Know. For so, uh, my Dude, mind, I, I was thinking Burrito Supreme. Two yeah, Burrito Supremes. That, that would be a lot heavier. Apparently, it's 190 calories and one Taco Supreme. Oh, that's great. I could breathe in a Taco Supreme. Like, they I could eat like 10 <laughs> of them. Yeah, yeah, me too. It's so I, 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 mm -hmm. My mind... Subbed burrito for taco. I was thinking something bigger. So than if that. I have two of those dirty dudes, that's four, almost 400 calories. Dirty dudes. That's not going to be good for my quota. I'll be. I'll tell you that for sure. Forget about it. Maybe I'll skip. Me. You know what? I might. I might get nothing. Wow. I might get nothing. Wow. So maybe one. Maybe, maybe one. one taco supreme. <laughs> that's okay. a dainty little twink. That's nothing. Of an that's a snack. With extra meat. Extra meat. <laughs> no, we're not doing anything like that. Shit. One taco supreme. All right. That's me. Let's go. Let's fucking do this. Let's go. All right, let's talk to Ids. Okay. One moment, please. I will let him into the room. It's all that. It's all that. It's all that. You guys remember the It's All That theme song? It took me a second, but yeah. With Coolio? You talking about the Coolio? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rip to the go. But you say it's Oh, wait, no, that's the Keenan and Kel. That's the Keenan and Kel show. It's all that. It. Dr. It's is in the house. Can you hear me? Seems like he's still trying to. um. Working on it. Yeah, he's trying to get in there. So as he tries to set that up, I'll continue. It's all that. It's all that. Uh, your your audio is uh, extremely distorted. It's coming through just barely, but there is um, some sort of distortion going he, on. He's on it. Okay. So let's see what else we got here today. Right, so after this, we definitely got to get into the Dan chat. Uh, Ba the Chan, the Dan Chandler. We got it. Oh, there's a new James Charles article. This is so good. We'll do Dan Chandler first. But uh, Cosmo Cosmopolitan did a puff piece on James Charles. 
What? <laughs> that is so true. Let me guess who's James Charles' lawyer. <sighs> nope. I don't know who's his lawyer is. How would I know that? Yep. Here, we got a video to watch while we wait. <laughs> oh, not poor, poor Fousey. <laughs> Wait, this music is yeah, uh, here. I just muted it, which means we can't listen to it. At all. That's a bummer. Where's the ones that from getting trolled on his live streams lately? I felt worthless. Those are, they're all I in here. Ugly. Those I are really gay. fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's been doing a uh, IRL streams. Yeah. And he has does this thing where I guess if people donate, he has a voice read the donation out loud, no matter where he is. And we've seen this before. Uh, this is a streamer, IRL streamer technique to get yeah. donations. But the way they're hitting Fousey with these is brutal. Oh, does he have 11, uh, 10,000 subs? That's really good. <laughs> That's fake. Oh, it's fake? He manually updates it and just puts the random number. Wait, does he do that as a joke? No. No. People, he, he does that to fake people out? No, he thinks he looks cool. No, but he does that with the intention to deceive people. Right, yeah, he wanted to look rich, I think. What? Yeah, it's super weird. It, it, weird. it increases by crazy. like a thousand to two thousand per day. What? <laughs> yeah, it's funny. I've never heard of that. <gasps> oh, Cam found it without the music. The one that oh, okay, we're trying to follow up. a force of nature, man. Also, you know what I say about Bass Pro Shop hat wearers? Only the best. <sighs> Uh, okay, yeah, I yeah, think yeah. it's well. One sec, uh, there, it's one sec, Doctor. Take it off me! Take it off me! Yo, I'm leaving! Take it off me! I'm leaving! I'm leaving! <laughs> you know what? Something I discovered uh, at this stage in my life. I, it's not cool to mess with people's phobias. Like when go, someone tells you, like, I'm deathly afraid of like cockroaches or something. Like, it's not funny to, you know, throw cockroaches at them, because it. It traumatizes them in a way that you don't really understand. You know what I mean? Like, it, it causes them psychic pain. Uh, so, you know, I'm out on So I don't think this is cool. But it is funny. Because it's Fousey. And he has 10,000 subs, so congratulations to him. That's really incredible. I was impressed by that, love. All right, Dr. It's thank you for joining us. I don't want to waste too much of your time here. Um, there How's is, it going, my friend? So there is a... Little bit of a, we're, we have a little bit of some hard questions for you, Ids. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, I'm ready. Okay. Now, now everybody's talking. Dr. Ids is now sponsored by the ABA. Is that correct? It's, well, yes, first of all, it's true, but it's a short term, three month contract that ends probably in about a month and a half. And the reason they approached me is because. They've seen the dozens of videos I've done on artificial sweeteners, stating the evidence, showing they're safe. And they knew that the WHO and IARC were going to convene during the summer. So they wanted, you know, medical professionals, healthcare professionals who understand the data to basically remind people that the data does show that aspartame is safe. And that is what it does show. And actually, the WHO research arm called JECFA, which are the food additives research arm, they just concluded that it's safe. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's what everyone expected. So, so what is their requirements on you as part of the sponsorship deal? What do they require of you? If you're so comfortable discussing, of, you don't have to. Yeah, yeah. It's just a number of videos. I think two a month or a couple of months. Um, and basically, it's pretty open. There's no requirements. It's just they like the style of my videos. Um, you know, they like how I interpret the data. And so the, are they, they offer... are they saying specifically do two videos about artificial sweeteners that are um, that with a focus on them being safe for consumption? So the whole summer campaign they're running is to show that artificial sweeteners are safe. In particular, um, aspartame. Okay. So they so they launched a new website called safetyofaspartame.com. And as you can see there, it lays out all of the evidence, all of the individual research studies, 
They go through over a hundred of them. They go through all of the health institutes from across the world, the European Food Safety Authority, JECFA, um, the you know FDA, Australia, New Zealand, all of the major health institutes from across the world, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and all of their statements showing that it's safe. So basically, they're running a campaign because they know that some of these ridiculous headlines are going to come out and cause mass confusion mm -hmm. amongst people, mm -hmm. right? So they basically said, look, you've done a really good job so far of reiterating the science. So we want you to continue doing that. And I was like, right, you're going to pay me to repeat what I've been saying for years. That's fantastic. That's are, you great. are you afraid that the perception of it will tarnish your credibility, even the perception of being paid by a, a lobbying group? Sure, it could to those who are non-critical thinkers. Sure, people that love conspiracies. Well, I don't, don't think really... that's fair to wipe everybody <laughs> why, off. Why is that? Well, well, I think it's logical to, to, at this point, to assume, hey, you know, if this guy's being paid by a lobbying group, I don't think you have to be a non-critical thinker to say, well, that, that, that warrants a second thought. Well, if you're not aware that I've been saying this for years, yeah, and then yes. But anyone who knows my content, they've seen the 15, 20 videos prior to me being sponsored anyway. Right. So there's, there's evidence of years backlog of publicly viewed videos where I say the exact same thing. My right. stance hasn't changed at all. If my stance did change and I all of a sudden, let's say I was paid by, um, you know, some kind of sugar manufacturer or something, and they wanted me to say, look, we want you to say that artificial sweeteners are harmful. So more people come back towards the full sugar drinks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If I all of a sudden did a 180 and I was being paid, then yeah, of course, that would, you know, even, even myself, if, if I saw another doctor saying that, I would be like, right. yeah. It's more, okay. it's more, it's more, it's not as, ob it's not as obvious as that. It's a little more subtle, right? Um, but I, you know, I, I, like you said, you've been doing this for a long time, so your message hasn't changed, right? But I do exactly. think I, I'm a, my fear is that there are people um, mm -hmm. like Love, not sure, but he is no, still yeah. skeptical and yeah. he is criti He does critically think uh, that will look at this and say, "Hmm, I knew it. There mm -hmm. is something going on here with this guy." Sure, and you would have a, you would have a case if I was going against the scientific consensus. Right. But actually, you look at every major health institute from across the world, independent or otherwise, they all have my stance. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to be skeptical of me, then you need to provide an argument which nullifies all of the leading health experts from across the world in all different countries. Not America. I'm not even talking about the FDA. I'm talking about Europe, Australia, New Zealand, the UK all the other major health um, countries. What are you drinking there? I noticed you switched it up. you got red drink now. We run out of yellow. Oh, no. I've got Summer Fruits Cranberry now. Summer Fruits Cranberry, everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's yeah. the name of the organization? Or there's a journal you said is like soup, the most credible that doesn't have bias. Which one was that? There's Well, there's a lot of them, but one of the leading examples is the Journal of the American Medical Association okay. and the New England Journal of Medicine. That's a UK there you go. medical journal. Yeah. Do they have They're no the bias? Oh. So, so, Say again? So your claim is that these journals have no bias? No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, there's okay. no research paper in the world that can ever have no bias. Even if it's not funded, a, a researcher can always have an internal bias where you know they might be inclined to you know, maybe hide, maybe run uh, a number of statistical tests that might be favorable for them or design the trial that might be favorable favorable for them. No one can ever say there's no bias. Okay. What I'm saying is the methodology and the stipulations these prestigious journals have in place makes it very hard for these things to get through. Mm -hmm. So even if a researcher tries really hard to push something through, there's so many steps before that. You have to pre-register the study. You have to tell them how you're going to conduct the study. You have to have an independent statistician. You have to have an independent data handler. It then has to be peer reviewed by colleagues who have nothing to do with you, right? And believe me, colleagues in the research space, they can quickly see very easily if someone's trying to manipulate something. <laughs> 
So there's, there's loads of barriers in place. So just for those listening, here, here's mm. an excerpt. The Journal of the American Medical Association, JAMA, strives to maintain objectivity and avoid bias in its publications. However, it is important to recognize that bias still exists in any yep. scientific journal. Bias can arise from various sources, such as authors, reviewers, editors, and even funding sources. But yep. to mitigate potential bias, JAMA follows a rigorous peer review process where experts in the field evaluate the scientific merit and validity of submitted articles. The process helps to identify and address any potential bias or method methodological flaws in the research. So, yep. you know. So, can I ask a follow-up question? Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, bias in like uh, research, they have very mm. firm kind of anti-measures, right? I'm curious, is there, I'm, I'm assuming there's not as hard measures on like public information like uh, what what kind of ads they're funding and stuff like that? Um, do you th do you, you think mean uh, non-academic media? Yeah. yeah, like like your, I guess well, yeah, like funding outside like of promotion of research, like your TikTok for example. Do you think there's yeah, a bias yeah. there, or could be? Oh, yeah, yeah. There there can be bias in any kind of outlet, headlines, media. Advertisements, influencers, doctors. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, his his video is not peer reviewed. If that's what you're asking. That's that's my point. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a TikTok video. Yeah. Well, for example, yeah, it's not, corn. Yeah. Go ahead. It's not peer reviewed, but what I'm saying has been peer reviewed. Sure. Sure. Right. Yeah. So that's that's the point. Right. All right, Eds. I just want to check in on that. That was an interesting development in the story arc of Doctor Eds. He's now on the payroll of Big Soda. Yeah, not for much longer. It's going to end soon. But yeah. <laughs> they better keep paying you, though. Otherwise, your opinions might change. You know what I mean? <laughs> Switching to no, water if, here pretty soon. If the data, if the data changes, which is pretty, pretty damn hard because we have forty years worth of data. But let's say in twenty years' time, <laughs> if I'm still on social media, um, if you know a dozen or two dozen research studies come out suggesting that a specific type of sweetener causes harm, then of course, I'll, I'll update my stance. People but until have, then... People have accused you of poisoning the well. Well, I'm here to say sugar-free and poison-free well of Dr. Ed to <laughs> join a fine Coke Zero. <laughs> well, I'm here drinking a Coke Zero, so obviously I'm riding with you still. Well, you'll be riding with every major health institute across the world. So. That's it. And that's who I ride with. That's my, that's my crew. That's me too. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say anything that isn't the scientific consensus. There it is. Unlike these carnivore flops. All right, um, Doctor Ids. Thanks again for the call on short notice. Uh, always appreciate it. Of course, my friend. Hope All everyone's right. well. And I'm glad you're getting paid. What are we talking? Six figures or less? I'm not comfortable saying. Okay, fair but, enough. Uh, it's it's a substantial amount, which you know dwarfs what. UK doctors are paid, which is wow. which is great. So good. Then you know what I mean? Fuck yeah, why not? Well I mean I mean, you know, UK doctors are only paid like fourteen pounds an hour. So Huh? How did wait UK 14. doctors don't make money? We don't make money at all. There's no, there's UK doctors are poor? Thousands of doctors are striking right now. Wait, what? But how do they afford to go to medical school and all that shit? They take loans. And then they pay it back at fourteen pounds an hour? Well they well like 10% gets taken out of the salary every month. So actually, a lot of doctors who are newly qualified, they'll be taking home something like £1,800 a month. Wait, wait. 48, 48 wait, hours worth of work. Yeah, a week. UK doctors make nothing. We make nothing here. What? That's yeah. hard. I just so it's so the opposite of here in America. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, well, that's... Doctors that's are like the, elite fucking... Uh, you know, bourgeoisie, right? Yeah, yeah. The maximum, even after 20 years of training, becoming a top consultant, becoming, you know, spending all of your life rotating around different hospitals, becoming a super specialist, you'll only be on <coughs> like 80,000, 90,000. That's when you're 50 years old. <laughs> That's pretty stunning. I'll say a lot of people, it's debated if doctors should get paid as much as they do here in America. Mm. But I actually, one thing that I don't think people talk about, which is really in favor of paying doctors a lot, is that they are less um, 
inclined to pursue other revenue options that might uh, compromise them or because th there's a lot of ways that doctors can make money outside the practice to endorse stuff or talk about this and that and if they're if they're millionaires just by their profession they're not going to be working with um, with other companies you know what I mean yeah that's true and also paying them fairly and adequately prevents them from leaving you know the issue we have here in the UK one in three doctors are planning to leave the NHS what the fuck we have we have 60,000 or more than something like 60,000 job vacancies and we're really struggling Whoa, like oh that's mind blowing yeah it's so, really bad that is interesting cuz we uh, the healthcare system here gets so much shit but that i mean i think it's good that doctors are well compensated yeah, it prevents it's such bias an important here. it's such an <laughs> such an important uh, profession yeah yeah well you need to tell that to um you know, Rishi, the guy leading the UK right now. Um, are there private doctors that that are like compensated really well? Yeah, private doctors are, they earn significantly more, but the issue is you have to be part of the NHS service before you become privatized. And also you need to still have your foot in the door of the NHS because they're the ones you know, the GMC is the people that run your license. They monitor your license. So they they don't make it easy. Like if I wanted to go into private practice, I can't because I need to, you know, go through a certain number of steps. I need to do a certain number of years. Um, so it's, they almost try to like... I am, I am a surgeon! <laughs> sorry about that, doctor. It's oh, that was very, bad. very unprofessional, Olivia. So sorry. I am, I am a surgeon! Ah! I got it. But yeah... But seriously, like uh, many people are leaving. I've got so many friends who've gone to Australia. I can't believe that. That's that's. I'm sorry to hear that. I I always I always assumed that you were just out there doing really well by your profession alone. That's that's horrible. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. My friend, we make nothing, pennies. Well, good. Get that money, and you know what I mean. Let's drink that coke. Get that money. Do that coke a, with the my, money. My my my, you know, my rationale is. If I can get paid to carry on educating based right. on the strongest data, believe me, I'm going to get paid. Yeah, I've Let's spent go. thousands. Of, I've spent thousands of hours making free content. It's about time someone bloody paid me. Absolutely. So. Let's fucking go. <laughs> I, I'm with you, Doctor Ids for <laughs> Doctor Ids for ABA. <laughs> All right. Thank you for calling. Very much appreciate it. Thanks, Ethan. Thanks, right, love. Doctor. See you later. Thank you. Take care. Talk love you. Take care. Mm. Take care. That's, did you guys know that? That kind of blew my mind. Yeah, seems scary. <laughs> uh, About the their compensation. Yeah, no, yeah. I, you know, get that bag, Dr. Reds. Uh, I'm not going to hate. I mean, in the U.S., we still got to pay back. You know, it's not that bad, of course, but student loans, it is a lot each year coming out of our salary once we start making money. We? Yeah, I believe in this. Are you still paying back loans? Mm -hmm. Damn. What the fuck? Yeah. How much you owe, can I ask? 60,000. Damn, bro. Damn. And for how long were you in there? Uh, I was in there for a while. I, like several years. So I switched from you law in, to medicine. You were in several years and now you're working here? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Probably a smart decision, honestly. Yeah. 60,000. All right, we'll get that down. We're going to get that down. Thank you. You've been a huge help so far. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Well, uh, Joe Biden uh, might be getting that down. I actually saw some news about that this morning. They're trying a different approach to the student debt cancellation. I thought that's cancellation. awesome. I was like, go get him, Joe. Uh, yeah, credit where credit's due. I, I like that he's not just completely backing down. Somebody wrote the average NHS salary is $190,000 per year. That does not... That is... That doesn't conform with what I was... No, I, I just lot. looked it up and... Uh, the median UK doctor's salary is fifty-eight, is uh, fifty-nine thousand pounds per year. Which the pound has really fell off. So, pound Brexit has really been wonders for their uh, mo <clears throat> currency. Seventy-seven thousand dollars. I mean, listen, it's not terrible, but it's also not amazing. And I know England is also a very expensive place to live. Um, I don't know. I mean, London's one of the most expensive places. Yeah, nurses make more than that in America. 
That's crazy. That seems really low for what they do. Five, someone said they're in 500,000 debt for dental school. Fuck, Pearl. Mm -hmm. But dentists get paid, so if you, can, if you can last all the way through, you know what I mean? Just look at Jimmy. You could become Jimmy Lee. You could be the next Jimmy Lee. And if that's not encouraging, I don't know what is. <laughs> all right, all let's, different flavors. Let's get to, um, let's get to the big moment at hand. Mm -hmm. We've all been waiting. It's the Dantzler. Let's go. Let's go. Do we have a sting or anything? Or? Uh, no, but we have a fancy graphic that uh, Cam made. Hold on a second. And I found this music pretty quickly. Yeah, uh, shout out. Thank Lydia. you. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh, no lorem ipsum. So Dan has been complaining about his scorpion chair, which I spent big money on. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I feel At like Dan's I've request. always been very gracious about this chair. Yeah, well, not so much anymore. <laughs> uh, Dan has, uh, no, but we all, our hearts go out to Dan. He's suffering. I am kind of suffering. And I'm you, kind of suffering. You, you've long sat past the expectation should point she suffer? for enjoying that chair. <laughs> yes. I, right. I would think Clap so. If you think she should suffer. No. So uh, I think it's, we all agree it's time for Dan to get Clap a new chair. Those cheeks. But what chair is good enough to uh, succeed? Succeed. Succeed to depose the scorpion chair. <laughs> okay. So fans have submitted the greatest options available from absurd to executive and everything in between. And Dan, as our bachelor, as our bachelor, bachelor, is going, we're going to be doing a bracket here mm -hmm. of um, a competition to find out who is going to be our match, our loving match for Dan. And no matter what it is, we'll buy, we'll make, we'll commission, we'll do whatever it takes to get, bring this chair into a reality. And I should say, I have done my damnedest to avoid spoilers on this. Uh, I did pull up the graphic just a moment ago, so I got a little glimpse of uh, some of them. Oh, you haven't seen these? I've, I've tried to, I, I, I figured it would be more fun if I was seeing them. So the you're gonna have time. to choose one of these. That's the idea, right? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so you have 16 I think choices. 16 options, and some yeah. I'm looking at it. Some of them look very nice. Mm -hmm. I'm, it's it's on this screen right here. I am trying not to uh, look at it yet. I mean, I don't think it, yeah. Okay. And yeah. then so the rules as we establish would be, um, it's up to you, but like, don't the audience get to vote? A little bit. <laughs> Dan no, I, I had said of me? we can do audience votes just to get their uh, input, but um, I don't want to say that I will commit to what the audience picks because uh, they like to troll me. They would obviously pick the worst one. I think they want the best for you. We love Dan. I don't know. I don't know. Dan. I think I think what we should do is the audience needs some power in this, Dan. You know what I mean? It just needs to be. Uh, I, d I don't know. No, I disagree. I disagree that you disagree. <laughs> Let's do something like... I just put disagree because I was, I was between disagree and agree. You know how during America's Got Talent, they have like the golden button? The golden no. buzzer, absolutely. The golden buzzer puts you automatically through to the finale. Oh, interesting. So maybe admit... what we can do is... Mm -hmm. Each one, it's not a vote if you like it. It's golden buzzer this, yes or no. And if the yes gets 70% or more, you have to own that chair forever. Um, that's bad roll. Yeah, I don't, I, no. I don't want to agree to that. All right, let's get the, started. The idea is that we get a chair that isn't going to physically hurt me. Let's get started. The first chair... Of the 16 fin finalists, and congratulations to everybody who proposed these. There's also a quick gallery of honorable honorable mentions, too, if you want to just... Oh, we could take a look through those. Really fast. Oh, yes, let's please. So here is a, um, a video of the honorable mentions, and thank you to everybody who submitted them. These are all fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Who 
I thought this would be really good for you. <laughs> you think you could run the show in this thing? Fuck no. Have you ever done one of those? I actually have. No. It's uh, very disorienting, as you would uh, probably guess. I think, you, I think we found your new chair. <laughs> in other words, hold my hand. Here's another uh, honorable mention. Is this free music, guys? No, I don't think so. That's kind of perfect. So, obviously... Okay, that rules, though. Why is this one he's not... Got, in... He's got a radar, too, even at the Yo! top. Oh! Why is this one not a... Not an option? Is that an honorable mention? Um, well, that makes me excited for the ones that are, because... We uh, can... I guess you can you can get it in there. I no, think we have really good ones, though. There's something about that sofa chair. <laughs> All right, so that all being said, let's get into the competition here. Okay. First, we have submitted by Jay Blanda. We need we need some kind of music, I think, to set the scene here. There's music. You can turn it up a little bit higher, Olivia. Steel case seat. Okay, so this is just a straight up real suggestion for you, Dan. Oh. Wow. So this is the steel case uh, line. Of leap chairs. This is the leap. Okay. Maybe you'll be leaping into comfort with your new chair. <laughs> high performance seating. High performance. Two hundred nineteen reviews. What does that mean? High performance seating. There's nothing really high performance what it, about sitting. Yeah. What am I performing? I want a low That's performance seat, think. frankly. Yeah. Are we not performing all the time every day? Oh, we are. Higher energy. I mean, that's true. I mean, if we really want to talk about it. Let's mm. talk about it. Life is Life's a performance. A performance. <laughs> hey. Nice. Beautiful. But this looks like Beautiful. a fantastic option for Dan. Okay, so. Who uh, is an executive and deserves an executive chair. Yeah. Uh, okay. This is this is interesting. I didn't know that there would be any just like normal options. There are several. Okay. Fantastic. <laughs> now this one is, of course, coming in at $1,000 to $2,600. Damn. You'll be expected to get the bare minimum, of course. On really? The design, on the design. Co no, I'm kidding. You can get whatever you want. <laughs> I'll ex I'm expecting you get the plastic wheels and the uh, hmm. one with the CO2 cartridge shoots up to your ass when you <laughs> go down too fast. Oh, no. But okay, that looks pretty good, huh? I mean, yeah. Uh, I, it's the first one, so I don't have anything to compare it against, but that looks like a, a very nice chair. All right, so up against, we have yeah. the plush office chair by Just Peachy. 99 and let's see if this is just peachy or not here it is oh my goodness gracious whoa what get a load of this thing what is happening here dan's new chair needs to be over the top comfy but practical going from hard sharp scorpion to this plush comfortable computer chair that looks incredible what is wait what is this <laughs> i mean that one kind of rules right Oh shit. That's like a billionaire's chair. Imported black cowhide leather. Oh, I don't. Maybe they have a um support vegan leather product. I'm sorry. I mean, if they do, that would be great. It has 10 wheels, bro. It has off road suspension. <laughs> I mean, it looks incredible. All wheels, all road. All and it has a massage function <laughs> and a footrest function. Ooh. But I need to know what the fuck is this? Like, what's the price? They didn't Where do I buy this? I have this? a feeling this is absurdly expensive. Where, what is uh, Well, what is it called? Let's there's, look it up. There's a link if you... Oh, there's a link. Okay. The oh, there is. Thank you. That chair looks like you need to be drinking whiskey every, like every time you sit in it. Oh, my... <laughs> see, these chairs, they surprise you. Obviously, 2000... Oh, that's not that bad! 2300 is expensive. Well, it's a lot for a chair, but I was expecting it to be way worse. So, this is an interesting... The Queely Massage Office Chair. Pretty wow. interesting. But it looks like the material's ca cowhide. Oh, only. yeah. You can only do cowhide no. leather. <sighs> That sucks. Maybe you can compromise. But I mean, you probably have leather in your car. I don't. No. Oh, you probably nope. have leather in your house somewhere. I mean, I'm sure I do. I, I just try to not go out of my. <laughs> I'm not that hardcore about it, but I, I try not to. Buy okay, well, you're facing you know a I mean? tough decision. This is the first bracket, uh, Dan. That so is we a have, tough um, decision. The I, I love case that one. Seat, a beautiful chair, more let's say subtle, more understated yeah yeah and here we have the plush office chair a uh, uh, a seat suited for a king 
10 wheels off road, all wheel drive, prostate massager. <laughs> Um, Love, can you do me a favor just because I'm juggling a lot? Can you be putting up the polls for these? Sure. Thank you. This is actually a good lineup because these are both really good options. Now, yeah, I on, mean, on, my heart my heart says, uh, or maybe I should say my brain says this one, the uh, the leather one, but my, my heart tells me I, I've got to go with the other one. And is it the leather that's turning you off? It, that's the only problem. If I could get it with pleather or whatever, that, that's, that's obviously the winner. That's a shame because that one is way funnier looking. Because the, the other one is so like this is a, Yeah, I, I'm assuming that this is like our, our one normal entry. So we'll see how far it actually mm. gets versus all of like the insane ones. All right, well, so, apologies to Just Peachy. Uh, it's a fantastic suggestion. It really was. It really was. But um, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to pick. Okay. Well, there it is. Uh, peace and love to the cows. Dan is riding with you, my friends. I love the cows. Too. Moos. To you Man, all. fuck them cows. You're gonna be in this chair for a long time, Dan. I want you to really think about this. Really think about. Well, there's it. gonna. There's lots of other options, right? I'm with AB. It's like this is, might be. This might be the one. That you let get away. <laughs> when you end up on That's an uncomfortable chair, I'll be like, thank the cows. I will. You I will. could be reclining. You could have your feet up. You get your prostate and your back being massaged. <laughs> I'll get you a little tube that... And no, I'm not going to say that joke. <laughs> All right. He's well, made his choice. I, I, yeah, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't, I can't compromise on that one. Uh, did the people vote? Did we set up a poll? Uh, They're currently voting. What'd you say? Yeah, it's up. They're voting right now. Let's see. I'm curious what the people think. Now, obviously, I think people are going to sympathize with your... Oh, yeah. Every, Everyone's saying People want the, the fancy, fancy one. massage chair, dude. <sighs> the people, they, they, they agree. Because that chair really is something, man. I mean, look at that beauty. I mean, can we get it reupholstered? I guess it doesn't really... How does that, that defeat, help? That doesn't <laughs> help. You're right. Out the it, doesn't, it doesn't help. Yeah. You're right. Maybe we can find a old one. Used one. <sighs> Let the, Jeffrey Star make let's one see out what's of the delivery and shipping <laughs> info. Um, in stock, one to two business days. Holy shit. Oh, that's quick. One to two. You could have this by, to, by uh, next week. Uh, you want to read some uh, details about it? I don't. I don't. I don't want any more temptation. I've made my choice. Okay. Good I'm, man. I'm going to sit in it. In We're my, moving on. Poor choices. Yeah. Sorry, everybody. Yeah, really sad. <laughs> All right, up next. All right, what do we got next? The here? next mashup is cute pink. pink gaming chair. Uh huh. Submitted by Nick Lib. Let's take a look. This is the cute pink gaming chair to go with your cute pink aesthetic. <laughs> go for the whole e girl thing. Interesting. That is Inter kind of awesome. The the cat paw. Oh, with the cat paw. See, it's cute. oh, they wait. Hold on. You guys are customizing his whole damn. The whole setup? Desk. The whole mood board. That is kind of awesome, to be honest. Whoa. I mean, okay. I don't hate it. It's very funny. Okay, but... At the end of the day, though, it's just a standard one of those, like, uh, what are the DX Racer yeah. gaming chairs, mm -hmm. essentially? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I've, I've sat in those. Those are okay, but I, I think we need to go something a little nicer than that. But You've but suffered what, too long. Yeah, but what's it up against? The Rich Lux chair, supported oh. by Pale Ad. Oh. Interesting. The Rich Lux chair. This is the Rich Lux chair. Shout out to the king. Oh, All nice. Yeah, that one is really <laughs> important. Ah, You'll no throne. longer have to be uh, jealous of him. One pink oh. throne. This throne is like really important. This is on. <laughs> this is from an Etsy artist. Mm -hmm. Oh, so 13, it's like custom made. $1,300. Important. And um, it is called the Pink Throne. It is maybe the prettiest thing I've ever seen in my life. I'll, I'll just say it. <laughs> Oh, and is it really? Is it this is actually his, his chair. <gasps> that okay. is everything. Dude. That's really special, and I think that's really, really awesome. If you get that, you got to get the crown and the makeup and everything, Dan. Oh yeah. You got to go full rich Lux. Dan Lux. Dan Lux. Poor Lux. I'll be poor Lux. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a rich Lux. Um, um, I think that that is. I, I, I'll be honest. I don't think that that's gonna make it to the end because I imagine that isn't that comfortable to sit in for a long and period of time. It's a throne, but is that is funny enough of an idea that I think it can carry forward in the okay. competition. So there uh, we go. It looks like the audience agrees. So yeah, I like it. The, 
I like the rich Lux chair quite a bit. That is that is. Powerful. Oh, I just got a glimpse of the. <laughs> okay, I can't wait for this next round. All right, the next bracket we have the Akira chair, committed by Lizard Crowbar. Take a look, Akira, of course, the classic manga anime series. Uh, this is a <laughs> custom design. <laughs> we have here a Akira style motorcycle with a monitor. Well, we'll take a look. I mean, Yo, and it says Danon on the side instead of Canon. That's fucking, that's sick. I, I love this movie. Um, and I love the whole cyberpunk motorcycle thing. This is um, going to cost me a fortune, you guys. That is absurdly cool. Now, that said, on a comfort level, this will probably suck at least as much as the Scorpion chair, Logistically, right? Logistically, also, with the tube shape is going to be tough. We can make it work. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Yeah, I guess I was gonna say it's probably not that much longer than the Scorpion chair, but I think it actually would be. It would be. Yeah, yeah it'd be it like significantly be. longer. I mean, this is a fucking sick idea, but <laughs> well, you have uh, to choose one. The next one. All right, is yeah. The Let, sperm let's see what it's chair. up against. Let's see what it, this, of course, is one me? that I. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. This is a <laughs> chair that I have experienced with. <laughs> this is the chair that was featured in the uh, sperm collection room. Oh wow. With the, um, <laughs> you know, protective sheet there. Okay, the I don't think we need to do a poll for this one. I, I, I ain't sitting in, uh, no, in, in Ethan's no, goo. No, no. And just so you know, I would volunteer to, to uh, <laughs> yeah, splooge. I'm sure. Thank you. That's on very this kind. On a regular basis. <laughs> thank you. Me. Oh, the to refresh it. Feel That's cool. Um, we're gonna move on with. Uh, uh, is it, Kanata? Akira chair. Kanata, is that the character? Kaneda. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Canada. All right. Well, congratulations to Lizard Crowbar for that one. Up next is the Carebro seat by Extension Hat. Carebro. Let's take a look. Three bro. The audience uh, is voting for the sperm chair, by the way. But uh, well, I'm going to have to reject y'all. That on is that kind one. of epic. It's very funny. I'm voting sperm chair. <laughs> so this is the. What is this? Cere it's. Uh, Whoa. X Men. Cerebro? Uh, oh, like the so, helmet one. Mm -hmm. Yo! Do we have the technology to make so that you can control it with your mind yet? Uh, I could get a Elon Musk chip put in, right? Isn't that. I think it just does? got cleared. That's FDA approved. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Um, this is very cool. It looks. So this is like a custom design, yeah? Like yeah. somebody made this in Blender or something? It looks like, like it. <laughs> Uh, very cool. I like the amount of monitors. I like the thoughtfulness of uh, leaving a nice gap. Like, it doesn't have this bar that the Scorpion chair has, which is very um, obstructing for the camera shot. Mm -hmm. um, this is cool. This is a cool design. Mm -hmm. Now, that said, this doesn't actually exist. This Not is, yet. We'll have to make a, it. This would be like a fully fabricated thing. Which we'll do. Okay, sure, we'll cool. do that. And. By that same token, is it even structurally sound? Like, you can make this in Blender, but that's a lot of weight with well, six su monitors. Subject to, to uh, engineers. I notes. feel like you could do that. If it's oh, like Ian's saying metal. it's a gallery. There's other photos. Oh, shit. Click next at the top there. Oh, wow. We got a whole blueprint. <laughs> Direct line of sight to podcast host. I noticed that. Oh, see? That. I noticed that. Yeah. Six times 27 inch displays, RGB infinity mirror along inside face. You have a, you have a mirror. And some rope lights like that. Custom helmet for improved focus. <laughs> oh, it! Oh, I didn't even realize. Yeah, it's yep. It's yep. actually the Cerebro, dude. This is super cool. Are you gonna be comfortable putting your head in a little device? <laughs> well, I would imagine I wouldn't have to use it. I mean, I sort of do already. I wear headphones, right? It, it's permanent. It's a permanent fixture. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's but you fine. can't move it. Yeah, that seems like that would get a little old. <laughs> a comfortable desk chair, cable pass. That was, I noticed that very clever. Yeah. Uh, moving to the next slide, we've got here is all the wow. measurements. They've 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 done. really thought this out. This is extremely cool. Whoever uh, actually put all this work into this it. This is by Extension Hat Two Seven Five O. Right. Well, let's see who it's up against. Uh, I see who it's up against, and I'm going to tell you, I think this one is definitely moving on. Because well, hold on, Ronald McDonald. Steve. <laughs> Don't judge a book by its cover. This is um, submitted by Wes Does Stuff, and here is an iconic chair, one that we all know and love. Mm. <laughs> the sweet, the lovely, the innocent, neighborly Ronald McDonald, the clown, 
I'm not gonna lie, that'd be so fucking funny for that to just be my chair all the time. <laughs> Every time it cuts to my shot. We actually it's got Ronald around my shoulder. We actually found this um next to a park for kids. Ronald was sitting by yeah, the himself play place watching McDonald's. Oh, and, uh, oh we sniped it. Oh no. So Dan, this I don't know why you're hating. This is iconic. <laughs> uh yeah, it's just um uh it is iconic, but the uh the other one is just the Fupa Trooper put so much effort into that. I, I'm going to have to. Like, <sighs> that would be so good. So you're voting for the. I'm sorry. The Cerebro is too cool uh, to even meme about the McDonald's one. Well, the people are agreeing. It's close, frankly, but the Cerebro is winning. So Sweet. congratulations. Okay. So we're. Oops. Looking good. Coming along here. Yeah, we're uh, halfway through the first round here. All right. So up next, we have Gamer Bed. <laughs> made it by Sam uh, F A W J, the Japanese gamer bed. Okay, so uh, it's the gamer's final form. Now this mm. is built so that <laughs> you can sleep where you play. I could just lay and down. During what the it jet. does, Dan, is uh -huh. it minimizes movement to maximize gameplay time. Yeah, that's sick. Uh <laughs> <laughs> it's basically a hospital bed. <laughs> with, with a fucking desk attached. And as you can see, it comes with a uh, cover, sheets that, <laughs> provided. Is that actually a promo image? Like, how does that comfortable? Like, you just, there's no back. You're just, like, sitting up awkwardly on the bed. Well, they assume sleep is going to be minimal. So it's really just there for convenience. <laughs> you got your sodies and your chips, right? And so you can just... <laughs> cry. <laughs> You know, <laughs> this is so of stupid. course, that's how you you're living on chips and soda. If you is this a this. real product, they're actually it somebody is. made this. Yeah, it's wow. Japan, and they, they, you know what I mean. This is crazy. Oh, you can hold your cell phone above your head while you're falling asleep, dude. Do they have they they have like lube? Is like there jerk off? Up? What is that down at the? the yeah, it could James. be lube. <laughs> There's a tissue receptacle, and uh, so that you can easy grab, so you don't have to get up. <gasps> Uh, at first I was actually kind of hot on this, uh, thinking about being able to lay down while we do the show. That sounds kind of cool, that but, um, sick. I don't know. It seems, it seems like it wouldn't actually be very, uh, comfortable. Yeah. Frankly. Actually, you have to sleep with your knees up. <laughs> yeah. Like it's just not enough space. <laughs> All right. Up against the gamer bed is the massage chair submitted by one substance. Oh, okay. Three nine five. Here it is. What in the shit and fuck tits is this? <laughs> Whoa. Is that this looks a like is this that a looks so pod? cozy. That looks so cozy. That looks cozy. like a the cockpit seat to like a starfighter or something. Can I get a link to this? To the actual uh, yeah, product? I gotta know. I think I've I think I've seen actually I've sat in one of these. I have. Are they at, like good? the airport? Yeah, no, they have frankly no. No. It, it, yeah, they have these on display. I was also at a, at a friend's house with an extremely wealthy parent, mm -hmm. and he had one of these there. It's really not that good. I actually have a funny story about that. They have these at the airport, as Olivia pointed out. I sat down in it on the way here, and it started beeping because it didn't want me to sit in it until I paid. So it's like, uh -huh. you yeah. have to pay, and like embarrassed the shit out of me. So I had to like, Leave it and walk away. You didn't pay. So you, no. <laughs> these chairs, they're um, embarrass. They embarrass you. Yeah, it's on like purpose. This guy didn't pay. That's Amy, so Amy. unfair. Yeah, it's here. Cool. It is or something similar. These chairs are right? inconsiderate. Yeah. This is the Human Touch Novo XT massage chair. Changes the game. It says. Uh, let's get to the. It has, they have a concierge service. Um, <laughs> What's that mean? I don't know. They'll bring you stuff. That's just part of when you buy the chair, you kind of get like an, uh, uh, an assistant. Yeah, like you a get a full-time assistant. assistant. Uh, here's yeah, the sounds control cool. panel, foot, calf massager. I I would be into this one, but it, if it weren't for you telling me you've sat in one and it wasn't that comfortable. Well, I, I'm just being honest. I'm being honest. Maybe, maybe people have different experiences, but I was not impressed. Hmm. I was not impressed. Okay. Where's the price? Where's the... Uh, uh, good question. Maybe it's a uh, special order only. Because normally these are like people put these in malls. Ten k. Yeah. Ten k. Yeah, that's fine. I can. We can do that. Here, here's the exact one. Wait. Here it is. So you got all kinds of color options. You know, black, 
black, also black, also black. <laughs> Another black. Gray, cream. Ew, I kind of like the cream. Um, on sale from 15,000. All right, well, the time. I'm not completely sold on this idea, but I will say I would definitely prefer this over the bed. We can also get it on a payment plan, 167 a month. So oh, nice. that seems reasonable. Over the course of the next 20 years, we'll pay that off. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and have to say the massage chair between these two, uh, cause the gamer bed is just a little too- That's- It's a little too smelly. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um. Here he is. Big news. Oh boy. What happened? A fan, a very kind what fan, sent me this. Apparently, going back to round one, they do have a fake leather option. Oh, this Ooh. is not the same chair, though. Just to be clear. Oh, this it's not? Is nice, but it's not as luxurious. Look at it. Huh. Does it... Well, okay. I thought it was the same one. The image the, the image it shows in the thumbnail is different. This is the same company, though, is it not? Yeah. Like, how do... Why does it look so cool here? Hmm. Microfiber leather. Yeah, so apparently that is a synthetic leather. leather. That's fake. But it looks so different. Okay, so here's another image of it. Now, does it have ten wheels? Two, four, six, eight wheels only. Oh, pathetic. No, no, no. Two, four, six, eight, ten. It has ten wheels. I mean, my bad. Apologies to okay. the uh, Evan massage chair. Well, can I can I make a revision on that first? I, I, if I'm okay if with it, that. If there's a fake leather option, I'm in. So how do do we need to go back and revise the bracket? Well, it's just this first round, right? I, I you would can just, switch them out. I would just I'm okay swap with that, that for that. Yeah, yeah you're, you, you're good. Let's go. Okay, cool. So here it is. Evan massage chair, micro fiber leather. Save the cows. We say here at the H3 Productions office. Okay, congratulations. Cool. Right, Moving well, that, on. That's exciting. So we have an, an iconic chair, Herman Miller chair. The gold standard of office chairs submitted by the guy thigh guy who is herman a king herman kane i think he died from covid no not that herman wasn't wasn't that company the one that fired a bunch of people on zoom and it went viral was it oh you might be right yeah, yeah. i think so it, well it was the one about the bonuses the uh, pity city oh, yeah oh shit oh yeah. yeah listen I am, this is my vote. I've sat in these chairs for Dan. I went to the store, I tried them out. I've been hearing a lot about the Herman Millers. What are you, what are you gonna say, B? No, that, yeah, and I got a 20% uh, code too, if you wanna go with this way. Wait, but, uh, affiliate code? You sponsored? Wow. Not sponsored, you no, got no, an no, affiliate no. Code? They, they got me on contract for three months, but it's almost <laughs> Wait, so, did you like this? I. I do like it, yes. Okay, it was... I've sat in this chair. It's so overrated. Like, oh. I don't understand the hype. People, they, they, rave about this thing mm -hmm. uh, like it's spun from gold it's yeah. just not that good a lot of mixed opinions in the chat too i've seen people say they're so bomb so good and then other I people don't say get it. boo fuck herman miller wow okay it's much like weed oh, well apparently. it just does it have to be this specific herman miller is the one that you got that we have herman miller? yeah we have yeah, the... so that's a different type of chair they do make good chairs the one that i use at home is herman miller this specific model i don't like that's interesting. Okay, well, I am interested. However, I mean, I feel like it's been done a little dirty by the bracket because I'm already seeing what it's up against next. And well, let's take a look. The off-road chair by Bayer, Bay Britt. I mean, this looks incredible. Now, this wow. is action track chair and T, $10,500. <laughs> Dude. Um, it's a we fucking have tank treads. Full tread. We have a quite high, frankly. You'll be very high up. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to raise our uh, workers' comp insurance premium, <laughs> but I'm ready for battle, bro. That's so sick. I'm dude. sorry, that thing is. They say World War Three awesome. is coming, Dan. <laughs> Dan, you're making the same mistake, though. I feel like no. you have an awesome chair. Well, right listen, now. Uh, we you gotta have to climb up into that. I, the, I the now that we we found the fake leather of the massage chair, I'm kind of thinking that that's my fallback if I decide. You know, I don't want to go for the goofs, but here it is. I, I mean, this thing is a tank. I mean, how okay, can I hold say on. No this to the is tank? now the price has changed. It's fourteen thousand. Whoa, okay, but That's... it's my money. You don't have to worry about that. Dan, I mean, think about it. You never have chair. to walk again. 
<laughs> Dude, you're gonna look like the villain from Wild Wild West. If you Yo, check that out voice. the customizable. <laughs> I have a question. Is Can this I get actually camo? mobility? I think so. Oh. I, I kind of vaguely remember looking at this on the podcast years ago when we were looking at. It was kind of like in the discussion leading up to us getting the Gatsby. This is a mobility scooter. That's kind of wild. Ooh, I like the orange. You're gonna kill someone out there. They're already dangerous enough. <laughs> You're gonna give them a tank? Oh, there's different models down there too. Those are different. Are there any with any kind different of uh, like 50 caliber <laughs> Vulcan cannon? This is a rare skin, actually. It's very valuable. Or a Gatling skin. gun. Do they have the Phase Clan skin. We should. Yo, Phase skin. Yeah, we should, that we would be sick. It up. So you know. Um. I, I, it, this is the choice. I mean, wins. between these two. Which one are you choosing? The tank. The tank. Between this and the Herman Miller. Also, I mean, the, the pity city lady. Fuck her. I knew. I was going to say, this is his leftist choice right here. God yeah. damn it. Yeah, it's leftist to get The industrial war complex. What is pro-war at the same time? Yeah, I know, but. You are supporting the industrial I'm a vanguardist, dude. I don't give a shit. Let's go. <laughs> All right, get the Desert Storm. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> Congratulations to the off-road chair submitted by Bay Brit. Yeah, we're going with it. We're going with it. Where Up is next by Where is that Harborish, the vinyl chair. Interesting. Sounds subtle. What is it? Let's take a look. Take a look. This is... Oh, wow. An entire installation. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> this is uh, one set of bookshelves and chair No, I think those are, those are records, my friend. Those okay, are vinyls. Right, right, right. right. Oh, with some like with some band uh, posters on the back. Wait, King is this a, okay? This isn't a real product. I think someone made this. Oh, is this design? They, yeah, it has King Glizzard on the back, which we King Glizzard. So can <laughs> eating down those King Glizzard. King Glizzy. Um, oh, is it Gizzard? Yeah, it's it Gizzard. might be a slight. <laughs> I like Glizzard. Space uh, <laughs> issue. Uh, I don't know. It actually seems fairly compact. Right. This is uh, this is obviously like the the uber hipster choice here um but i i, I do like the 70s vibes uh, uh i like the 70s aesthetic a lot personally uh, thank and, you by uh, the way to harborish for designing this very cool there, uh, yeah is it a gallery uh that's, oh, right we saw the back already yeah. that's just those two um okay very cool uh i'm in i'm into it on a on aesthetic level uh, sure. next is the wizard chair by wtf is space oh interesting. and that is a good question this is a um <laughs> Custom dragon wing. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Throne. Wow. Looks nice. Uh -huh. One more time. Give it, a, yeah, give give it another, another spin. spin. Mm -hmm. There it is. Cast a mighty long shadow. Yeah. Like you. <laughs> um, looks cool. Doesn't necessarily look that comfortable. I, I don't. The straight back is mm. worrying me. You know what sure, I mean? Sure, sure. I guess if it could be designed to lean a little bit. Um, be more open to it but yeah I, I i imagine feeling pretty uncomfortable after a while okay fair enough so that there you go yeah i think i i've got to go with the wins. with the hipster chair nice i've got so many links open there might right. be uh some jealousy with zach that that chair seems a little bit oh up this Zach's alley very true and he is the vinyl there is live in san diego there is very possibly a finalist in this next and final group. I so up next, this is the final bracket of the first round. We have the Star Trek chair coming in. This is fantastic. I mean, it fits the aesthetic. Okay. It fits the role. You no. are the captain. Oh, engage. Is engage is what I... And I want you to engage with this chair sexually. <laughs> <laughs> I've mentioned it a few times on the show, but I, I don't know if everyone's aware. Big Trekkie here. Uh, especially next gen. That's my shit. Picard's my guy. Mm-hmm. Um, wow. I mean, that's now. I do want to point out this appears to be the design from the Enterprise E, not the D. Okay. And the D He's is the one from the TV show. The E is the one from the Pull movie. Pull up the one that you want of the different models. Okay. Let me. Because um, if there if there's a newer Star generation Trek. model, I'll let you chat. I'll let you decide. Uh, well, it this is actually the newer one. It's the older one that is more dear to my heart. I see. Uh. Enterprise D Bridge. Does he get a jacket like this? If he chooses this one? Jacket sold separately. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here, let's take a look. Dude, here. that's so sick. That is kind of, yeah. I want one. I might buy one for myself. 
So it's very similar. <laughs> it's a different color scheme. It, this one is installed. It, it doesn't right. swivel. Uh, it does swivel. It's just. Can you zoom in more? Yeah. Here. Let me take a closer look at that. If he chooses this one, can we make the whole set look like this, dude? Can you get one I mean, with lower pick, uh, lower res? <laughs> well, let's see. <laughs> this one looks uh, perhaps. Yeah, when we first moved into this room, I thought we should all do uniforms and the whole <laughs> deal. I mean, this is a television set. It is purposely arranged in a way that it's quite good for shooting a bunch of people all facing the same direction. We, could, we could just build the Enterprise set in here. So Dan is saying, <laughs> let's build the Enterprise. Forget the chair. I want a whole damn spaceship, he's saying. <laughs> um... But yeah, I mean, this uh, this seems like a, a strong contender. What what is it up against? It's it, up against it's a that, tall order. Uh, well, don't don't count the next one out. Okay. Phase gaming. Oh, chair. a phase chair. I mean, phase up. It's got it all. I Thank you to Stan Lido Seven. This is the Respawn Flex Phase Edition. Respawn Flex Phase Clan Edition is full mesh ergonomic gaming chair that provides breathable comfort and support. See how the flex decreases your gaming fatigue and increases your gaming performance. That's right. 300... I like how they have to say that. They're like, listen, gamers, 300 pound <laughs> man. <laughs> Just got to be clear about that. It's a concern. It's a concern in that industry. So this is, this is fantastic. Well, I can see on the poll, not too many votes in yet, but uh, a clear blowout for the Star Trek chair. And though though I am FaZe Clan for life, though I am a Banks uh, supporter and Stan, um, he's my dog for life. I think I think Banks would understand. Yeah. I think he would get it that I'm gonna have to go with the Star Trek chair. There it is. That's an easy choice. That's an easy choice. Let's take a look at the bracket now. Let's revisit our. Oh, wow. Some fantastic options. So frankly. let's just go first back to the beginning. We have um, the grandfather chair. Yeah. Luxurious. Luxurious grandfather chair. Off-road. Ten wheels versus ten wheels. Rich Lux, the pink throne. Yep. Versus the Akira bike. How about this? How mm -hmm. about this? What do you the think? The audience decides this, but you decide the final. Ooh. Mm. Our, okay, our... well, I don't think... Yeah, I think that's fine. Yes, let's go! Because frankly, oh. I'm pretty happy with this bracket. I mean... Wait, no, no, hard. I think I just got one. Yeah, I, I think that first round filtered out all of the ones that, that would be like a hard no from me. So I, I'm open to audience input from... That I on. love. Now I'm yeah. excited. And you're saying I can still have... When it, what, when it comes down to the final two, I'll pick. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's do it. Let's have the audience uh, decide. Love it. Dude, I want tacos too. So, between the pink throne and the grandfather daddy. The pink throne and the grandfather Get your votes in, daddy. people. Hold on. Wait, he's now, up. He's the up. grandfather is a potential finalist for you, right, Dan? I, I would say so. I'm pretty impressed by this one. Um, as far as like a non meme choice, well, it is, it's still pretty meme actually. I mean, it's absurd. Did you? People are like, no, let Dan pick. Then vote for what Dan wants. It's up to you guys. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ooh, thank you. Do not vote for the Rich Lux chair. And you see, I knew they had your interests in mind. It's a blowout for the chair you want. You okay. Know, the people okay. care. Yeah, I guess the Rich Lux one is one that I wouldn't have really wanted to win, but, um, but yeah, if it's a blowout for, for there it is. guy, the plush office chair. I call it already. It's 80% grandfather. All right, done. Boom. We're moving and grooving. Here we have two custom designs going head to head. The Akira Which, chair. frankly, I'd be very happy with either of these. these the are Akira both chair versus the Brain stick. Trust. Yep. The Akira chair versus the Brain, <laughs> the brain Trust? Mm -hmm. Oh, the Cerebro, right. Okay. I gotta see, um... Excuse me, everyone. Let me just, uh, hit this, uh, quesadilla real quick. I gotta see a shot of Love's Feast. Where's my food, dude? Well, you don't have it. You don't yet. have anything yet? Uh, Damn. Damn, that sucks, bro. I order so much, they're trying to... <laughs> trying to walk it out. This is a tough one. It's just too much? 
Yeah. Okay. Here we go. The voting has begun. Here we go. And it looks like the brain chair is taking it. Pretty handily. It is pretty pretty far out ahead. Okay. 70%. Truly, uh, shout out to the designer of the Kira bike. This one definitely speaks to me as well. Um, but the Cerebro. The Cerebro takes it. And congratulations. There it is. Pulling out a bit, we go back to the other side of the bracket here. Oh, oh God. Oh, you want two of those things? Okay. We have the tank versus the massage chair. The tank versus the massage chair. And this does include prostate uh, massaging, milking. Excellent. All different uh, flavors. Variants of depth and speed. Oh. I have my food. This is the future of chairs. What do we got, love? Let's see it. Well, this, there's a bunch here. Oh. I don't see know. It. I can't throw up. Um, I got to see all the shit you got. AB, can you just tilt down his camera a little bit? See what he got. All right. This is the Taco Bell party that was promised to Taco love. Bell party. <laughs> oh, okay. I got a soft. I can't see it. Can you switch so I can see it? Oh, I'm sorry. Or do I need the minimum? I got a soft uh, one. Me. This is the fried chicken one. I got the circle one. The hard circle taco. One? Another soft one. And where's my Shumpa Loompa? I told you, I think that they forgot one <laughs> thing. They forgot my Shumpa Loompa, no! bro. What the hell? I'm so sorry. I was no! counting and I was like, you know there's what? one thing missing. See, they always forget something. That's why I order a lot. Okay. I'm still... I, I ordered with... The, them with that in mind that they might lose something one. ain't gonna wrap yes so oh, this wow. is still okay. enough yeah that yeah yeah no all good all good you okay without the chupa loompa yeah it, it was that, it was it was calculated one oh. no actually it's not it's um next time two chupa loompas i should have ordered two chupa loompas no no no. i will i will get two chupa loompas to make up the sure. strategy. right no that was all accounted for i was accounting for one to be get lost uh, <laughs> on its way here so all good you are a next level in. taco bell order well you know I, well I learned from last time actually. They did lose one of my tacos last time. So I think the driver was just like, I'm gonna hit I'm gonna eat this. And you know what? I don't blame him. It's it's a tough life as a delivery driver. Okay, so there it is. We have uh, an easy winner in the tank chair. Congratulations. We love to see it, folks. Fantastic. Going down. The tank chair. Where is the tank chair? It's right there at the top, right? I have to, here, it's called off-road, that's why. I have to select the layer. All right, moving on. So wait, no, the you put it the wrong way, didn't you? Oh wait, no you didn't. Yeah, I'm Never good. mind, my bad. So up next we've got oh, the Picard. Two good ones, two good ones. The Picard versus the Hipster. Um, two custom jobs. Nerd versus Hipster. Which way, Western man? Both very lovely, very nice. I could see Dan settle in, settling into either one of those, frankly. One will guaranteed kill Zach of jealousy. The Picard. <laughs> that is traveling. That is Zach's vibe, isn't it? Definitely. I gotta, I'm going to throw that out there for my boy since he's not here. You can't. We uh, don't. Yeah, I'll throw it up, love. Uh, so we are doing the. What are we calling the hipster chair? Or mm -hmm. just, how about like the vinyl? Fuck it, hipster chair. Hipster versus Picard. Star Trek chair. All right, asking the community. Here we go. Frankly, I, I'd be happy with either of these. So, I think I think it's a. I think Picard's got it. It's iconic. It's so iconic that you would be sitting there. Manning the Enterprise. Mm-hmm. By the way, there's a there's like a new Star Trek show on called Strange New Worlds that I've been watching. Really? What channel? It's on uh, Paramount Bullshit. Oh, it's good? You know, I've warmed up to it. I was a little unsure because the newer era of Star Trek hasn't really been for me. But um, it's pretty cool. 
It's a prequel to the original series. Hmm. So it's the Enterprise before Kirk gets it. Hmm. And uh, But a lot of the characters from the original series on it, like Sp a young Spock is on the crew and a few other recognizable characters. That's interesting. I've been enjoying it. It's pretty good. So that's a Star Trek win. Easy. Easy win. Easy clap. Yeah. So I think the fans decide until the finals. You're good with sure. that? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So we're in the, uh, what, the, this is the semifinals? This is it. Yep. Now here's some big ones here. These are, these are four fantastic options. You got the granddaddy, the tank, the Picard, the brain trust, all converging. One of these will be Dan's future chair and- Those are four sick chairs. The crowned batch chairler. <laughs> They're like short circuiting you trying to get that out. All right, so let's go to the granddaddy versus the brain trust. All right, you still need me to do it, love? You eating? Yeah. Okay, I got it. So the granddaddy chair versus the X-Men. You know, there are two, um, <laughs> I just realized there are two Patrick Stewart derived chairs in this bracket. Is that right? Oh, you're right. Cerebro Professor X, is Picard Professor X and, and Picard. Fantastic. What an influence he has. <laughs> yeah. All right, so the granddaddy chair versus the X-Men chair, I'm going to ask. So coming in on the final poll here, granddaddy versus X-Men. How we feeling? Here we go. Oh, it's close. Oh, this it is, is close. closer than we've seen. Yeah. Oh, the granddaddy is pulling ahead, though. And that's the winner I expected, frankly. Mm -hmm. As Dan expressed his... Love I, and interest. I'm somewhat relieved just because I feel like it would be quite a task to actually fabricate that custom one. As cool as it is, and I'm sure we could find somebody, but uh, one is ready-made versus... That would, without a doubt, be the most annoying right. artist right. to make. The granddaddy chair you can have by next week, apparently. Like two, Yeah, two business days versus like hiring somebody to make it for the next three months or something. So that's a, that's a dub for the daddy. All right, the granddaddy has won out. Though a lot of supporters for Cerebro got 41%, not bad. All right, granddaddy, where are you? It's called the plush office chair. There we go. All right, that's a finalist. That's our first finalist. Congratulations to the granddaddy. And a beautiful chair, frankly. Beautiful. Did we mention it has 10 wheels? My goodness. My God. Submitted by Just Peachy 99. Just Peachy. Good oh, idea. Versatile. Now, this is very interesting. <clears throat> On one bracket, you have 10 wheels. On the other bracket side, both zero wheels. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess you could say that. Up I mean, top, like you have the wheels. It's on treads. Yeah, it's on treads. Yeah. And right. below, Picard's is Excuse stationary. Me, sir? Right, right. Um, so, let's take it to the polls, guys. This one's tough. This is, these are both favorites. We have the tank versus the Picard. Mm hmm. That's Captain Jean-Luc Picard. Are we going to way. be exploring the battlefield or space itself? You decide. Right. Well, Captain Picard, I mean, he is a, a diplomat first, but he's a warrior as well, you know? True. I could see him in either one of these. Can't yeah. Space Mountain without Dan ruining my vacation. <laughs> well, as I expected, Picard has taken it down. Wait, why does he bad pull? No. Oh, this is a bad pull. It's not. You're fine. It's because the order isn't the same as it is on screen. Oh, I'm sorry. That is kind of a bad pull. Oh, should we redo it? <laughs> <laughs> Dan loves just torturing someone else. <laughs> <laughs> the Picard chair definitely. I've seen a lot of bad pull in the right, chat. You gotta oh, redo it. It's okay. not that bad. Welcome, by the way. Thank you. All right, two tacos down. I'm done. Very good. Thank you, guys. So we are redoing the poll because it was clearly a bad poll. It was poll. a bad poll. I, we got to be bad, honest guys. about that. I, I should have. It's okay, Love. It's okay. I'm better. Love is learning. He just got here, folks. <laughs> I'm sorry. He doesn't know better. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh. So now the poll is back in the correct order. Um, and tough the job, Dan, results man. are the same, identical. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
literally identical results. 67% Star Trek chair. We can take it down, guys. Like, I understand it's identical, but we always would have been in doubt yeah. if we didn't. No, you're, you're, right. you're right. We always would have wondered. It was a just because of a bad pull. Fair enough. But now, now we know. Truth and accuracy is paramount. It's the name of the game here on the H Street Podcast. Both with us and Colleen's lawyers, <laughs> which I totally agree with. <laughs> I'm a we are aligned on that. All right. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. I don't know which one's going to win here. And frankly, because you said I, I, I could um, I could choose between these two. This is up to you. Frankly, I mean, I'm not going to say that it's binding, but I would like the audience's input on this still because I am indecisive here. These are both incredible options. One th option away. I don't know when or how long it's going to take to get the Picard chair in here. Mm -hmm. We might have to custom build that. Uh, we likely would. You know what's funny? I don't want to say too much. I have a connection to somebody that could like a, help us make that in a extremely accurate way. Okay. Somebody that may have had something to do with production on the show. Well, that's good mm -hmm. then, because one of my words of caution to you was going to be, in the granddaddy chair, you've de guaranteed got yourself a new beautiful chair next week. Star Trek chair? It's a big question mark. Right. Right. Both oh. spectacular, though. Both phenomenal. So I'm seeing the chat. The grandpa chair is winning, though it is close. It is very close. 53% um, to 47%. Could not be closer. It could be, but not a lot. It, it could. Yeah, but. literally it could be. <laughs> I mean, if we're being honest... I mean, the massage chair is built for comfort, right? Like that—that that is likely to be the more comfortable of the two. Though the the, even though it's a it's like a, a prop or, or a part of a, TV set, it the Picard one looks pretty comfortable, right? Like that doesn't look like a terrible chair. Hold on, I just got I just found out why our last fit episode was demonetized. Guess what it was? Uh, talking about a gaping asshole. Nope. Really? <laughs> Wasn't that. What else did we... You're talking about Wednesday's episode, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> nice, Olivia. Um, it's always the dumbest thing. Yeah. Always. Let, let me think about it. Let me think Some about it. Give viral me hog shit. Let me, uh, let me look at the timestamps. I'll, I'm just, I'm just going to tell you, because I don't think you're going to guess it. No? Depiction oh, of pranks or challenges that fall under our harmful or dangerous act policy. In this case, eating... Edible substances the that chip. are harmful in large volume. The chip! Yeah. Oh. Whoa. That's fucking dumb. The well, fucking really chip. That's interesting. The fucking chip. I mean, chip. I mean we did the chip before. It was scary, oh, let's be honest. Fucking dumb. The man. chip. Could it be the that uh, or that uh, Lena ate two? The I double chip? The double was chip it? was like too far? It, yeah. It could have been the double chip. I'll ask. Was that in in like larger quantities? Was yeah. it the double? Was it the double? The double chip might have that fucked did it? Us. Too bad. I guess I can't do it then. <laughs> <laughs> mm. You already won, love. No. But if this is the reason, then YouTube is sexist. Dude, they're so annoying, though. That they're is. like, if you only ate one chip, it would have been a totally different story. But because she had two, we got to demonetize your four and a half hour podcast. Ugh. Tube's got a chip limit. Four and a half hours of content. Exceeded the, exceeded the chip limit. Wow. Always a dumb uh, thing. Oh, that's a bummer. We're like, wow, it must have been the butthole stuff. Nope. They don't care about that. <laughs> no, that's all good. Well, clearly they don't. It's on YouTube. You're just reacting to a YouTube video. I always thought the butthole stuff was fine, because it yeah. really does fall under their description. Of like it being educational. Educational. Content. We didn't show anything. Yeah. Chat saying then hot ones should be demonetized. That's yeah, what the, the fuck? Yeah. What's what the hell, dude? They're ten different levels. Thank you. I'm gonna ask that. That's fucking if bullshit, you've ever bro. Wanted to kill somebody. Why can hot ones? It's a fantastic point. Have ads, and gonna, we can't. We're gonna fuck over hot ones with that question. <laughs> <laughs> Rather than unmonetize us, they're just gonna demonetize the hot ones channel. <laughs> Good point. The whole channel. <laughs> <Just> so, <laughs> Sean Evans is gonna be so mad. 
Damn. That's insane. Yeah, that's it makes no her. sense. It's just so stupid. <sighs> <sighs> All right. So I think we have a new goal. Get hot ones fully demonetized. <laughs> yeah, <not laughs> We're coming wrong. for you. We're coming for you, dude. Fuck them. <laughs> um, there you go, Dan. The, the, the decision is yours. Fifty-four uh, percent says grandpa chair. Can I get any input from you guys? Like, what do you guys think? Because I, I I'm genuinely torn. Star and Trek, I'm, and I'm not just Star Trek. saying that to stretch this out. I, I am genuinely torn. These both um, seem like great options. Let me see again. I feel like long term, mm -hmm. the the grandpa chair like makes more sense as like a comfortable chair to be sitting Ooh. in every day, right? But the cool factor is so high. And on top of that, it doesn't look like an uncomfortable chair. You know wow. what I mean? Despite yeah. it being like a meme chair, it actually, the, the Picard one still looks comfy. Okay, well, let me remind you. Somebody's going to be building that who specializes in doing props, mm -hmm. not building chairs. Right. The right. chance that it's actually comfortable, very low. But it's not going to be as bad as the Scorpion chair. No, it couldn't be. It couldn't be. But then, on the other hand, this grandpa chair... These chairs are also sometimes not as comfortable as they look because it's just so ridiculously yeah. over the top. I agree. I don't think it looks comfortable. I feel like it's you're not going to be able to get it close to the table. Yeah. You're not going to have to slide like you can't <laughs> slide it under the table like you want to do. I think these are well, both. If, if the other the one doesn't slide guy. at all. Well, <laughs> it could. He, he, I guess we could put it on wheels. It could. Yeah. So then the grandfather chair you're going to get immediately the Star Trek chair is just a big question mark. Dude, we're in Hollywood. The actors are on strike. We're going to sneak on set and steal the actual Star Trek prop for you. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's on set right now. I mean, now. unironically, uh, I'm sure um, I'm sure the uh, set builders or art department people that do this kind of stuff would be happy for some work because everything else is shut down. We right should have now. Malik make us, <laughs> make us the chair. I mean, maybe. He's very crafty. So, ultimately... I didn't hear anybody. You're going. You're you're choosing style or substance. That's that's the decision yeah, it, here. Yeah. All I heard in the room was was Star Trek chair. Is there anybody that disagrees with that, or is everybody like? I didn't say that? either way. I think you're fucked either way. I feel like this is. You a think new, I'm fucked yeah, either way? I think this is a new. No, it's scorpion not. Chair. Boondoggle. It can't be that bad. What do you mean? I mean, because I feel like he's gonna have trouble reaching his monitor and being comfortable. Because you have to lean over. I feel like in both of them. You can. Well, so. But I think he deserves it. You can. He's you broke can. Out block it so it doesn't lean back yeah but, but the, still, the concerns the over the deep. the concerns over the granddaddy chair are real dude you know what too you know what i just realized that kind of pushes me towards the star trek is that in the show on the arms he has like little digital control panels or whatever yeah could embed my fucking stream deck in that oh. and i could dude, literally put the button that, there. that is that is so you're gonna say you put the button in there yeah, yeah dude boom <laughs> yeah. i thought you're gonna say there's someone who sits on his right oh always the coolness factor of that I wouldn't, I wouldn't put the button in there that's dangerous you're just gonna be hitting that thing on accident <laughs> i guess that's maybe true um smash that button i think i gotta I, I, I think the nerd in me is is too strong. I think mm. I got to pick the Star Trek chair. Make it so. Make it so. And there we have a winner. Uh, triumphant music is playing. Let's Everybody go. is playing so like excited. Kind of creepy music, uh, actually. The captain has been crowned. The king is born. There we go. Okay, now we got something upbeat. All right, let's fucking go, dude. You know, you. in the Star Trek like analogy though, like I know, I know I'm bald, so like it makes sense Picard or whatever. But I feel like you're the captain and I'm number one. I'm Riker. Mm, maybe I'm an admiral. You know, I'm I'm above. That. Well, the admirals uh, are usually yeah. assholes in that show. You know, yeah, they're like yeah. always. <laughs> yeah, they are. Is there ever a good admiral in that show? Very rarely. <laughs> okay, well, you're saying I should take the Star Trek chair. I'm not saying that. And, and <laughs> actually, Riker had the same chair. True. Yeah. So it's all good. True. Well, there it is. So the, the, basically, we have a lot of work ahead of us. We have to. Yeah, we got to figure out. I'll, I'll, we'll talk after the show. I, I legitimately have a very good in for making this happen. So there it is. So there it is. We have a project Thank on our you. hands. Thank you, everybody who submitted. A lot of very funny, very good options in there. Uh, I, I thought I was going to get trolled more. Most of those were cool.
Like almost all of those, I would have been cool. Well, I think you have Ian to thank for the yes, final thank you. selection. Thank you, Ian, for for not putting too many troll ones. I in think there. I saw an no Iron problem. Maiden at one point. Well, there was like the cum chair <laughs> and the uh, and the McDonald's one are the only ones that I would say are like purely troll. To be frank, Dan, if I were you, and I'm not even joking, I would consider the Ronald McDonald chair. <laughs> It's just so funny. It's very funny. And a bench a is not that bad. A wooden bench. It's not that be bad. bad. It's it's oh, it's basic. On. It's you know. It's sitting in there five days a week. I don't think it'd be that bad. It's not that bad. All right, let's get to work, people. That's not bad, huh? And I guess if you live in the LA area, and you are, um, what what would a what's like a like a cobbler make shoes like a, a blacksmith. Works like what's what's a, a chair? carpenter? Chair is it just a carpenter? Probably a carpenter. If you're if you're a talented carpenter and you think this is a project that you could take on, uh, I'd be open to uh, hearing from you. Give me an email. Se serious submissions only. Oh, like here it's called you, a chair blur. Swear to God, a it's chair blur. I swear it's called a chair blur. Obsessed with that. That's awesome. Do you know any chair blurs? If you're a chair blur in the uh, greater Los Angeles area and you would like to. Assist in this project. Sure. Uh, feel free to reach out. Uh, uh, I, I am face. open to suggestions if you got a game plan with it. Um, I'm open to reaching out to Malik and see if, if that's yeah. the thing he oh, wants yeah. to take on too. Uh, I don't know his Chirbler, uh credentials. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's more specialized in um, fuck holes. Yeah, things that you can fuck. <laughs> right. yeah, Building but, things that you can fuck. but he is very talented. You never know. He is. I have someone too that's an engineer that might be able to. Oh, okay. Put some bells and whistles. All right, well, we'll talk after the show. Yeah. Uh, there's, we got some options. I'm still game to sneak on set and steal it. Who's with me? Uh, well, I'm with you, Cam. Um, AB? I'm on a visa. To the gates of hell. But yes. We won't get caught. Don't worry. It's not they, illegal if you don't get they caught. They did just very recently, because of the last season of Picard, they remade the the one that I pulled up, the, the Enterprise D. They remade that whole set for that show. Um, so there is a, there's a fresh chair sitting in a warehouse somewhere. It's, it's ours. Let's in, take it. Just saying. Well, moving on. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. It's finally it done. It's finally it's done. Finally done. But I, I got to be frank. Your choice leaves you in that chair for an undetermined amount of time. Uh, no, I, I, I'm ditching it next Tuesday. Oh, you're just gonna get. I'll just sit in a normal. That's part of the rules, bro. You can't replace it until <laughs> the new one gets here. Because we gotta rearrange the okay. whole control room to make room for love. Okay, so there you just, go. Dan will be free day. next week. Woo! Monday. Monday will be the. Uh, Scorpion chair for now. What are you going to do with that thing? I, I think we'll just put it in the Museum of Dead H3 podcast no. shows. Oh, over true. There. No. Yeah. Just move it over there. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's worthy of the Yeah. Museum. It's a museum piece, right? Absolutely. Yeah. I just found the last tacos. Thank you. Uh, you ate it all? Yeah. Whoa. Damn, love. dude. Dude, I eat a lot. Like, I yeah, no shit. a lot of food without any issues. Look at that pile of, of taco bones. Thank you very much for the food. Absolutely. Thank you. For getting my whole show demonetized. <laughs> hey, who's saying? Just kidding. <laughs> that makes no sense. I'm actually. It's like they have no <laughs> consideration for the f idea that I'm running a business with nine full-time employees, with rent, with gear. It's like, oh, he had a chip. Demonetize. I mean, what the fuck? I it, think you have a very good counter argument with the uh, hot ones. Thing. I wrote them. They clearly uh, are okay with. That behavior. Yeah. I don't know. A spicy chip? Are you serious right now? I don't know. Um, yeah, see let's see. We have a little bit of, of time left. Ha have we gone over three hours? Uh, we are just under three hours. So we have the James Charles article, which frankly... Oh, I want to do the Fousey tube. Let's do that. Okay. I was just about to do that before Id's called in. Yeah, so Fousey's been IRL streaming. And people can donate... To have a voice read off their message. Mm -hmm. And I, I, of course, <laughs> people are capitalizing on this to the most. I still can't get over the fact that he's faking his sub count. It's crazy. How do you know that? Because we watch him a lot, especially. Yeah. Oh, you do? You're a fan? Yeah. Are you sub? A few, a few yeah. of us here tune into his streams. Yeah, it's, <laughs> we, we enjoy his streams a lot. Yeah, Let's just say that. Some of us. 
But we've seen him physically type in the sub count. <laughs> yes, so it goes away. <laughs> and then... The do, 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 well, could back. that just be him? He doesn't know how to set up the automation, so he, he does not manually I, input If he knows how to count? text the speech, he knows how to... There yeah. is a problem sometimes when you use some like stream elements where it messes up and you do have to type it back in so that's accurate. I will well, say that. I don't know if that's what he's doing. I haven't watched and it. And he, he does... He gets views, does he not? No, <laughs> not that guy. No. Not, okay. not 10,000 subs. We watch his streams and you, there's no subs in the chat. There's like one okay. every now and then. That is, so okay. that yeah. is what he does not gain like 200 an hour. 10,000 is a lot. <laughs> That's yeah. a lot. For a Twitch streamer. That's Absolutely, it is. Yeah. And, and, and also to add on to what Love is saying, I watched a 10 minute clip and I did not see one sub within <laughs> yeah. that 10 minutes, which I was, I was surprised. That is surprising. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, Definitely fake. I, so his real I, sub count could be like 300 or something. I would probably, I mean, uh, 700 maybe. In the whole stream too, he's he's constantly flexing his sub count. He's like, I'm yeah. the 50th most subscribed no in the world yeah. right now, guys. Uh, uh, what? That will be in about in about two weeks. He should drop like 6,000 subs because <laughs> yeah. they all should be about 30 days. Yeah. So wait, what? How is this real that he's doing? <laughs> really? this? You know what? Yeah. Actually, to add on to that, now that I think about it. Before that 10 minutes that I'm talking about, he's like, I'm about to tell a stor story, so nobody donate. Which usually on Twitch, people are like, all right, that means I'm going to fuck with him and donate. Nobody donated for those 10 minutes. But That's a respectful audience. I appreciate that. No, I, After I feel, dealing with our that, audience that, all the time, I feel like he was setting, I think he was setting himself up so when people say what I just said, that in 10 minutes I didn't see one sub, he could say, well, I told them don't donate. Yeah, mm. that's an empty audience. <laughs> that's a that's a uh, all right. So here it is anyway. Uh, Fusi Tube, the fiftieth most sub channel on Twitch. Very exciting for him. Please, can I ask you something? <laughs> Please. Sure. I don't want to wait in line. Oh, I saw this clip on Reddit. It went mega viral on like entitled asshole or something like yeah. that. Some yeah. Subreddit or main. I believe character. it was I'm the main character. Yeah. I saw it there as well. And frankly. If he's being serious, this is this is stunning. I mean, this is really, really stunning stuff. Please, can I ask you something? Please? Sure. I don't want to wait in line. Can you get my coffee and then I'll pay you for it? Yeah, it's a long ass crazy. line. It's ruining my live stream. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Hey, you can get back in line for content? I'm number 69 in the world right now. I got to yeah. keep the content. There he is plugging his yeah. uh, sub count. <laughs> Constantly. That's so sad that he's doing that. Actually, depressing and sad. It's very sad. His stream I does have an aura of like sad and like. Is it I like a train wreck? Is that why you guys watch? Well, it's like these weird small quirks that just makes me giggle like crazy. Like he has his dog in a bag, and just his head sticks out, and then he forgets the dog is in the bag, so he's like too rough with the bag, and like <laughs> what? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> so dog. funny. And sometimes when he's out eating at a restaurant too, like he'll have the camera on people that are clearly uncomfortable <laughs> yeah. with it, like just restaurant patrons right so now. So it's to like him. the good old days, like, like Jimmy Lee, yeah, Ice Poseidon. Like, yeah. yeah, like most of these streamers are banned by now, mm -hmm. but he's like rejuvenating it. <laughs> I love. He's that. gonna be gone soon. I he's think. a yeah. yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. Probably for animal abuse by the way he's <laughs> it's not, that Nothing dogger. crazy. It's just like that's you do you remember there's a dog in there? <laughs> I did not fuck my dog. Dude, he's live right now. I just saw this text to speech. I just Give me the link. This. I want to pull it up. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. You're going to know what I mean. It's just like something off. He's been live for like 10 days. <laughs> like <laughs> actually. Show, give me the link. I want to tune in real fast. We sent it. Anorexic cat too donated five dollars. <laughs> Message from mom, son, please don't shoot the driver. You have so much to live for. <laughs> I didn't read that. Oh Jesus! Yeah, it's already awesome. That's here. insane. Just caught that live. He he keeps that showing just his, He keeps showing his phone with okay, an address. Again. I don't know this why. Is a God damn it! Bar. This ads. is a search. All right, I gotta wait for these damn ads. Oh my God! Currently, was... oh there's well there's a thousand people watching. I don't know how many just came from our show, but fourteen hundred watching, which is not bad. Everybody's hyped about number 44. Number 44 in the world, baby! Let's go! And it's the mod saying it too. <laughs> <laughs> so here it is. This is more fun time if you wait in line. What am I gonna do waiting in line? <laughs> I'll cash up you right away, I'll sell you. I'll even pay you extra. I'll double the price of the drink. I just want an iced black coffee. Nitro. Not it. One of you. Not guys. it. Not it. For real? I love like he's propositioning him like I'll give you two dollars. Yeah. When he yeah, yeah. goes just I'll, a black coffee. I'll give you Nitro. eight dollars to piss off this line of people behind you. Not even eight, dude. He wanted an ice black coffee. That's two bucks. 
Mm. No, but he specified he wanted he wants it nitro. Oh, he wants that nitro yeah. chip. And I mean, he dude, got you've greedy. got you've got ten thousand subs, man. You make uh, sweeten the deal a little bit. You're rolling in it. That's actually crazy. You get, you're getting Bro, I waited in line. I'm sick in Hindi. What? <laughs> That's shady. Excuse me. So I was like, oh, he's just being a troll. But then he goes and actually complains that they would not let him cut in line. Can I ask you a question? Oh, it's the same thing. No, I've been waiting just as long. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> And y'all are so, man, seriously, seriously, society oh. and civilization is so fucked up. Mm -hmm. They're so, like, they're it's so, awesome. don't talk to me, I'm in public. <laughs> Human interaction used to be a mm -hmm. normal thing. Human interaction used to be a normal thing. Preach. At my dad's deli, at my dad's deli, when patrons couldn't pay. It's, it's a huge social commentary this that is... people won't let him cut. I have a massive <laughs> update. I'm completely mind blown. I went, this is crazy. I went on his Twitch, uh, you can make your subs public. He has 1,300 subs. What the fuck? Oh my uh, god. Whoa. He has 1,400 subs right now. So he's crushing it. Or 1,400 oh. subs. Or 14,000 hey, subs. Hey, shout sorry. out Linkler. I I've got Guys, his... Nick is so, trying to fix the TTS possible? on screen right now. Just, oh my god. This is so awkward. He's in an TTS Uber streaming. Like small and messing up, and Nick is trying to fix it. Filming this guy. <laughs> Making cap And cuts. chat keeps being like, don't kill the Uber driver. Wow, but like really, that video of him walking around being like, damn, social interaction, that looks like a performance piece because he is so connect, like disconnected from the world around. He's wearing like a headset, has a camera. He's literally interacting with the only non-people there. Yeah. And he's like, human interaction. Just talking to the internet. Are you kidding me? I think we should remember that he, it's possible, I haven't been watching enough I don't know. Y'all are but seeing it, me. It is possible that he's in a Y'all are seeing what I do to post all my uh, posts on social media. I want y'all to be a part yeah. of that so you can see what I I'm do. A, I'm a little worried about that. Because oh, if, does that, if he's does been... Is that something that happens oh, yes. with him? Oh, yeah. He, he's had a few uh, oh, okay. episodes. In he's, the bipolar. Past. He has, he's bipolar and he has oh, manic no. episodes. And the thing is... um. He's been on a bender. You guys say he's been living for three yeah, days straight. Like crazy. Oh, that's yeah. Scary. That's not. That's a. That's he, indicative of a manic state. But he has fourteen thousand subs. Do you? I then I'm proposing. Does he subscribe to himself? With no, dude, I don't. He's a bit it's Fousey too. I it's Fousey yeah, too, that, man. That seems Icon, like it makes sense to hello, me. Hello, the yoga Jose pants break. But he usually has like eight hundred viewers. Well, he Jeez. in the clip I watched last night, he was saying when he started streaming, he was Why is sad because he's going H3? around a hundred viewers and like oh, it's shit. crazy he how much does. growth he's had. Why is everyone saying e H three? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I so forget. Scary. I forget <laughs> that they this can happen. US, he's live. You're going to start traveling a lot for IRL streams. You should get TSA pre-check so you can go through TSA hella quick. You right. You right. You right. Hella quick. Why, why did Siri say hella quick? I'm, this is the weirdest drive this Uber driver has ever had in his life, man. Does he have his shoes? His shoes are off. Yeah. Dude, do not what get that comfortable hell? in this man's Uber. Man. Why not? Society is fucked, man. Do I have your consent to slap the absolute dog shit out of you? Yeah, let's go. My dad used to take his pants off in Texas. Do I have. Are you oh, to, kidding? Oh, to save the crease? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Oh. I'm saying how he said this, this society <laughs> back in the day. I'm on my way to the airport, y'all. Thank you for even hanging, up, hanging out with me on my way to the airport. Airport live stream, let's He's go. He's letting everyone know. Especially after getting fired today. I like the company. Thank you. Fired? Oh no. <laughs> H3 is talking shit about you? That's not true. Is that true? H3 is a walking L? That is true. H3, H3, H3 trash. Isn't watching. Oh god, we're warring now. Our communities are warring. The fine people on, over in Fousey Tube's live chat are upset. Are they taking us on the flight? They're done. They're they're taking a moment from making bomb threats at Best Buy employees too. <laughs> uh. Anyway, let's. Oh my God. For the order, they would tell him, "Sal, put me in the books." Oh shit! He's going to the airport. He's gonna get arrested. Yeah, this is great content. Wait, if he's going to the airport and he's got this live shit, that's how Ice Poseidon got ar uh, yep, arrested. That's how he and ended his whole career, or originally. Yeah. Wait. Wait. This is this. We warn him. News is Somebody happening. warn him. News is That's what I'm like trying the, to do. We're the Walter White or, meme right now. We're we screaming in the car. Lucy, don't do it. Not at the, not at the airport, that. man. Rosie! Not at the airport. Every single time I watch your podcast, 
I had to hear myself say I am gay <laughs> and get ridiculed for it. <laughs> no. Me messing up my Freudian slip and messing up. Freudian slip? Does wait, wait, what? Does he know what that means? Wait, wait, Freudian slip means that he's gay. means that that's his, his, like, his true self. Wait, yeah. I don't think he knows. If, if it was a Freudian slip, it means he's gay. <laughs> <laughs> he's not How did he pick the one word that doesn't watching. work with what he's trying to say? Well, maybe These so. comments are awesome. H3H3 H3 NPC robot demasculated. <laughs> Live right now. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Okay, Fusi. Wait, I gotta... Fusi, do not go to the airport with the live stream on. This is so important that you that you hear this. You are gonna get arrested, bro. Don't do it. You're gonna get arrested, bro. Do not live stream at the airport. It's like when you put two prank calls on with each other. Someone just gifted 10 subs, by the way, though. Oh no, he's gonna react to the phone. He's hearing what we need to hear. He's hearing. Wait, wait, wait. wait. You know what that means? Star killer just sub. <laughs> I'm trying to warn him. I don't know how to donate five dollars. Oh, right here. Pussy, please, bro. That's exactly what I'm trying to say. What? What's wrong with that? What? Wait, what? What's wrong with that, buddy? Wait, what? What's wrong with that, buddy? What? Wait. What's happening? Wait, what? What's wrong with buddy? being? Is this? He's just streaming, buddy, at me. I mean, hey, to everybody watching H3 HD right now. Self promo. I'm live 24 <laughs> 7. My live stream never turns off. My life is on camera 24 7. Twitch.tv backslash Fusi. No matter what time keep you go, you're going to be live. This is the part where we were, were telling you. We were yeah, we got to keep this. He's one. missing I'm Adam. Most subscribed in the world. He's missing w the promo, warning. Fusi, we're promo, trying to do you a favor here. W promo, W promo. So, yeah, H3. Yeah. H3. I mean, I'm watching your stream. They know. Harvey, do not go to the airport with the live stream on. Why? Why? You're gonna, he's gonna bomb threat you, bro. Uh, that's awesome. Ice Poseidon that's literally got arrested why? for doing that. <laughs> what do you mean, why? You can't think of one reason why? Dude, this is amazing. Dude, this inception is awesome. This is amazing. This is amazing. <laughs> he's actually getting the message. Don't do it, Fussy. Don't do it. What's wrong with that, buddy? All right, I'm just gonna talk to you now because you're watching. Right, Fussy. I'm gonna mute it and I'm just talking to you now. Yo, if you do this at the airport, people are gonna troll you like they've been doing, and at the airport they do not fuck around. You will be arrested. Hopefully before you get on the plane, because if it's during the plane, you're probably gonna get investigated by the FDI, FBI. You're definitely gonna get banned on Twitch, by the way, if the police come. Whatever you got going on now that's good, congratulations on the 13,000 subs, <laughs> but you are about to lose it all. And I'm looking out for you, buddy. Buddy. <laughs> but, yeah. And as a fellow really Arab brother, do not stream at the airport. There it is. <laughs> I couldn't say that. You yeah, could. Yeah, I can. Literally <laughs> cure everything in the world. Is this is amazing. I love the internet. I love this so much, dude. This is fucking great. The internet rules. God, I'm, I'm praying that he hears my monologue. Let me see what he says about the gift is. Yeah. Wait, he wants to know what you have to say about the gifteds. If you do this at the airport, shout out hypocrite, hey, like Rafi. And at the they don't listen to me. Do not fuck around. <laughs> you will be arrested. Pussy, this is important. Hopefully, before you get on the plane, because if it's during the plane, <laughs> you're probably gonna get investigated. Is it going in his head or no? Will I get arrested, y'all? Let me know. Tell me, tell me, will I get arrested at the airport? <laughs> don't ask them. I love I mean, it. I have a question to you. He kind of rocks. But Let's be real. Like, this is hilarious. You know, you, Everybody in chat is saying yes, don't do it. 100%. Don't do it. <laughs> Ice Poseidon literally. <laughs> this happened to yeah, him. His, his, life, his life was ruined from yeah. that moment on. He lost everything. He's back, though. He has some deal with. Uh, kick. Do people watch him there? Yeah, he's doing pretty good, actually. Okay, you'll end up on kick, <laughs> Yeah. Didn't he just get arrested in Thailand? I think he's yeah, getting he's through to him. I think he's learning. Let me see what he says about the gift there. Well, he's a grilling. Okay, King. No. I thought it was a retainer. 
<laughs> it's not enough it's to turn the stream off, by the way. Or uh, TTS no. off. You need to turn the, turn the stream off. Yeah. Turn it up. Turn it up. Turn it up. Turn it up. <laughs> <laughs> right. AV donated. I've tried my best. I I don't. I'm, yeah, I'm well, gonna see the headline. That you did the right thing to try and give him a heads up. Hopefully he'll listen. Do you understand why this? It's funny to watch the, or like somewhat entertaining. I don't want to make fun, but yeah. What I was saying though is that I think it's possible he's in the beginning stages of a manic state. And again, I'm not diagnosing. Right. I just know he's done this before, like when he did the Drake concert and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I know it. it it ended up being really bad for his mental health at the time, so... Yeah, with that in mind, maybe it's... I hope that there's people in his life that are, like, you know, keeping an eye on him and making sure he's, like... <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, he's saying for you to... to, uh, donate a thousand subs. Why the fuck would I do <laughs> he that? He said he just won a $54 million lawsuit. Me? <laughs> yeah. For what? I don't know, I, I, I jumped in at the oh, end. That's, that's news to us. This is me oh. right now, Fusi. This is me right now, dude. Please, listen. <laughs> if it doesn't get through to him, I really hope his driver says something. He's like, his I heard people saying that you're gonna FBI. get. P I, no, he's like, I heard people saying you're gonna get arrested. Maybe don't do it before he just hops out of the car, like I, I would. I think the the driver's already tipping off the FBI. I don't think he's got a shot. Fusi, why? I need a new sub goal graphic. All right. So Let's... anyway, keep an eye on Fusi's stream if anything interesting happens. I'm gonna have to go home and watch that because I gotta see. Hold That's on. good content. If I may, real quick. Fuzi, Fuzi, say it again. I'm listening. I can, I'll, re, I'll relay the message. Say it again. Oh, well, I'll open it if that's the case. My new album is dropping soon, and I want... Uh, AV is getting a message from Fuzi from the other side. Ooh. <laughs> Fuzi is our clair... Or AV is our clairvoyant. He's speaking yeah. to the spirit of Fuzi, too. Medium. I am forced to watch this commercial, so I can't open the stream. The thing is, there's like a minute delay, AB. It's not the best way to communicate. Yeah, it's not great. It's not great, no. Morse code is faster, a lot faster. <laughs> Here, maybe I'll just start clicking. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking at the meme. If it doesn't get through to him, I really hope his driver says something. He definitely received like, I heard people saying that you're going to The driver's get. listening to me. Yeah, like, he's like, been there all This is so bizarre. Maybe don't do it. This is just hops out of the car. so meta, it's crazy. Like I, I think the, <laughs> so the driver's crazy. already tipping off the FBI. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, he, he has you know that on the back. <laughs> this this rocks! He's going to get... Dude, that driver's worried now. Interesting happens. I'm gonna have to go home and he, watch that because I He's gotta going see. to jail. Oh, Fusi, you're going, going to jail Fusi, tonight. Fusi, say it again. I'm listening. I get, I'll, I'll relate okay. to it. Ethan. 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 Yes. <laughs> you won $54 million in your lawsuit. <laughs> I'm broke. Is he the thousand gift? Like, I mean, I genuinely. Israeli gifting a thousand He must just be confusing it with some other story. Oh, shit. You can change the rules. I recommend ending the Also, how out of touch is he? He's not broke. Like, he's making fucking. Well, we're trying to get him on worldwide in this video. You guys are. You gotta listen to this. This is history. It's not the best way to do it. Turn it up. Turn it up. Well, I can't. What is that? Is that is that, is that copyrighted music? It's not as fast. It is. a lot faster. So. Here, maybe I'll just start clicking. No, he said as a, as a, a Jewish man and if you were to donate a thousand dollars to a Palestinian, you guys would end problems over there. He says that? Yes. When did he say that? That's when we were talking. I was we telling you guys, we got to listen to him. Oh. He's right, though. I mean, we could solve the entire problem. Save a lot of lives today. Fusi, you are going to jail tonight, brother. <laughs> There's no question about it in my mind. Dude, he's got his nasty feet Look over the AV. Yeah, I was trying to... That's so, wrong. That's so inappropriate, dude. You should go to jail for that alone. He's dead. No problem. You serious, Dan? You got no problem with that? His stinky wet foot over... And it's touching the vent, too. He won't switch off. We can literally talk about anything. He's gonna end up on a stream. He won't switch off. What should we do? We should talk about a certain website. How Which does he not hear me every time I say it? Okay, the Ryan one. Oh, true. I should he has something that to say. So true. Here. Whatever. Fine. Don't give me a thousand gifted. 
Don't watch me. I'm going to the airport and I'm live streaming everything. Yeah, you gotta leave it on here so we can have this documented for legal purposes. I think we may have had the opposite effect. Yeah, he seems more determined than ever. He's being defiant. He says he's going through TSA at full volume. Oh, dude. Bro, this is like this is actually good content. Can we wrap up the podcast? Final hour content. I, need to go I know we gotta wrap this up. I gotta watch this. <laughs> Let's rush over to the airport. <laughs> no, he is no! like Boozy. No, tackle him. Boozy, please. Wait, what's he? Y'all are some haters. H three, we love, love you. We love you. you. We love 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 you. There's so much feedback. Y'all feet smell like garlic. We smell like garlic? You this braid feet. your That's why I don't hair. put it in front of the AC vent in a public fucking car. Alright, I can't do this anymore. It's oh too Oh my god, I need to keep watching. Melting my brain. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be uh, doing research. There's definitely something's gonna go down at the airport tonight. Oh no. I tried, we tried. We tried. You He's tried. Like, I'm going through the TSA with full volume on. He is gonna. He's not even gonna make it to the airplane, <laughs> bro, bro. He's being so defiant, dude. So, but I'm going. He's like doing the opposite just because we the told last him not to. You're gonna address this like, no, I won't. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm one that doesn't consider the consequences as much as I should, but this is on a whole different level. <laughs> I, I, I. <laughs> I love the Freudian swip, sw uh, Freudian that slip. That was comment. hilarious. That was my favorite. It was so good. <laughs> I felt gay, Freudian slip. He's like, he, they didn't understand that that was a Freudian slip, which means I didn't mean it. <laughs> I think we have a special episode where we just keep watching him all night. Yeah. <laughs> I think so too. How far is he from the airport? <laughs> it looked like they were inching up. We gotta end before. Do I have an extra hour? Can I just keep watching him? Um, you can watch. You can watch them all night if you want. Let me check with Ela if we have. If I <laughs> well, can at this stay. point, we should just Facetime. Let's talk to him. I don't want to be on. I don't want to be <laughs> participate yeah, in what's no. about to happen. That's I want to be close. a silent viewer. We have tried. We tried, and he's like, "No, I'm going to the airport. I'm going to go on the airplane, all that shit." So I feel like we did our part here. Oh yeah, more more than our I'm part. Miss my with that being said, I think I'm going to stay late to watch this. Did you say he's going to miss his flight? Shout out. 40 inch Jinkos for the three. Shout out Hopeful Flipper for the subscription prime. Shout out Traficante for the five. Shout out Traficante for the five. Stoop Kid <laughs> Plays for the five. You might say Delta a slur. Pilot like, for the five. Wait, really? Well, people uh, subscribe Hypocrite, Hater, Offie, JT Dingle. Just, oh, you think we're getting trouble? Killer. Yeah, yeah, let's, 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 Star Killer. Killer. Did you hear that? Killer. Did you right. hear that? He shouted out our boy. All right. I'm just going to wait till he's done no one... talking. Shout out to Leo. For the first time subscription at tier one, I appreciate you, Delia. I just can't get over the drivers Call listening Adele. to this whole thing. Mm -hmm. Adele. 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 Hey, B Star Killer, thing with the prime. So I'm, crazy to let, I'm trying to determine how far is he from the airport. I know, he said how far he is. 3K how viewers? Far? I was happening, cuz. Adele. What's up? Yo, can I stream at the airport? Adele. Oh, shit. Wait. Honestly. I don't recommend it. I'll turn okay. TTS off. <laughs> okay, okay. No, it doesn't uh, matter. I mean, it'll help, but... I think we actually may I mean, have I saved his life. Yeah. The TTS is the main issue, like, is it not? Really what, what's the other issue? No, People it's... You just, yeah, you wait, I want to hear this. I want to hear this. No. Why don't you recommend it? Tell me. Because you're under my name, so if anything happens, I lose my job, bro. Really? Oh. Wait, who? Yeah, that's a big shame. I know people out there waiting for all that stuff and Wait. just end it and just what? enjoy your flight. We'll be here, but you know, we'll wait for you when you arrive Houston. But like, maybe someone I, bought his ticket. Yeah, you're under my name on this flight, and you will. Ah, yeah. yeah. Wait, he's taking a flight under someone else's name? That's illegal, isn't it? Well, maybe someone just bought it for him. From Delta, can you yeah, work no, on another airline? Oh my God, dude, he's literally. <laughs> What? Is, as an Arab, this is making me so uncomfortable. Yeah, he just said. Bro, there's the Southwest, there's Virgin Atlantic, there's Emirate Airlines. This is the best airline. I can't deny. No, he, I'll he, get you a job with Qatar Airways. Rich Lux just subbed him. <gasps> Four people watching you go to jail. 
Ain't nobody going to jail, Java Conte. But well, shout out to 3,400 people watching. If you don't know, these cameras never turn off. So right now I'm flying to Houston, so the cameras will turn off <laughs> okay. for four hours. But the stream is live 24-7. Awesome. When I shower, when I shit, when I eat, when I everything, Ew, is that when true? I go on a date, when I go to jail. My life, Truman Show, 24-7. And humans don't talk to each other anymore. That's something Try horrible, and we need to discuss that on the stream. The world. So if you have an Amazon Prime and you can give it free gifted, I would appreciate it. So I don't I don't know if his friend got through Shout out to H3H3. No. No, he... I think he's... Oh, wait, Star he said shouts out H3H3. I think he... I think Shout he's still going to gonna do it. To I think his friend is still on the phone. Shout out to your... So what I gathered is his friend maybe works for the airline and got him a ticket. And he says, if you get arrested or do some dumb shit, I'll lose my job. Because I remember, he said something about, I can get you another job with a different airline, I think he said. Voice oh, transformation oh, yeah, journey and motivational speech number 532. Incoming guys, be ready. I, I honestly That's think true. if Twitch saw this, right now, buy I'm it. manic. Already. I'm taking about 10 Adderalls a day. Dude. I'm oh. smoking. I don't do crack, so I'm not doing crack. That's good. Um... I, I tried to drink yeah, either. You I've tried been sober it. for two years. Wait, he said, is he being, he's taking 10 Adderall a day? This yeah. is not a good situation, no, Fusi. Ah, mm. uh, brother. He said he takes three Sandics and four perks. He said that? A day. What? He just said it now that you muted oh. it. What? What? You can't stream at the airport. Why? Four Sandix, three perks. Really? Yeah. For what? The, the hey, Amy Lowell, what? Thank you so much, Amy Lowell, what? Thank you so much. I don't much. think he's gonna get through to him. He, I mean, he I can't. Can he, I'll go to check I don't know why he on. keeps asking why. I, it's like people are gonna call a bomb threat from your phone. Yeah. What the fuck? Why is this such a big deal? I'm just gonna be streaming going through TSA. I tried to TSA. explain it to you, man. Uh, apparently somebody that is a past streamer of yeah, they'll, they'll literally just fuck with him. They'll, they'll prank call, say someone in a red hat with a blue fucking grill in his mouth. Hey, whoa, whoa. He's gonna do something you. fucked up. Oh yeah, he doesn't have to. Yo, have Lunar to troll Vision, him with thank the... you for the gifted yeah. baby. Yeah, thank no, you for the gifted. Every sub matters. Well, that can happen regardless. Every sub matters. Now, I appreciate it. I'm so sorry there, right? for the donos and the. Well, I did shout well, I saw, I saw Cam once matters. on Instagram Live while he was at the airport when he first started here, and I called him up. I'm like, Cam, you should probably end it. Smart, sweet, innocent Cam. I was just bored. Yeah, but. I did end it. Can I live stream through TSA? Here we go. Reddit. But Fuzzy just I was thinking about doing a mobile why stream. Why is he looking for someone to say yeah? Yeah, uh, yeah. He's called um, two friends. He's, he heard me say it. He called two friends. They're like, don't do it. Now One of his friends Reddit. is even like, I'll get fired. There's consequences for me as well. Now he's on Reddit asking. Um, any part of the secure area of an airport, and it's definitely not okay to record or broadcast any part of the security. Why not just hold off on the stream until you leave the airport? Recording any part of the airport security process is a great way to be invited into the back room for questioning. Damn! <laughs> well, <laughs> seems to be having a breakthrough Think here. about it. Yeah. He, he can record the, the questioning. I mean, that would be fantastic. <laughs> the interrogation. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to stream through TSA, though, but they're saying I can't now. <laughs> Dean. That's, that's a risk, bro. I don't know. But let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. I have 3,400 people watching. What are the chances I say fuck it and just do it? Yes. No. See, I mean, we're don't, encouraging yeah. people to go watch his stream, and that's making him less watch. I thought you were going to say, what if I tell him I got 3,400 people watching? Like, do you think that'll make a difference? Keep calling. Someone's going to tell him yes. Just keep calling. H3H3, H3, just watch me live. Yeah. H3H3 is watching live. Can I take it through TSA? Count it up. Count it up. Back it up. Blow it up. Blow it up. Blow it up. Blow it up. Do the air. No, I didn't even post it on Instagram. I just posted a TikTok. No, I know. You posted that. That's, that's probably getting a hell of people to go watch your shit. Oh, you uh, think so? It's his TikTok. Hey, shout out Disappointed Cowboys subscribing for the first time. I love tier Dude, one what subscriptions because that means you Dude, watched no, just, me for the says, first time. I don't know about you that. You enjoyed what Anyways. you were watching and you subscribed. Yeah. Welcome to G7. Uh, I think. Yeah. Just Unless he's worried about getting fired. Right. Let me see how my Dan might be right where we're, we're sending so many people to go Instagram watch post. and he's getting all hyped up. Yeah, he's getting hyped yeah, up yeah, by the viewership. He doesn't want to end do because it. we're watching. I think but we're actually hurting things by really having people go to his stream. Now he really doesn't want to stop because he's getting juicier numbers.
Who said that? It's so interesting. <laughs> Everybody's Shout telling him, don't do it. Tier one subscription. Like, I it's so that, serious. Dog. I appreciate that. Jose They're like, you're going to get arrested. Says, F- He's going to get banned. You're going to lose uh, your job. He's going to get banned before he gets there. Do you think so? Yeah. If Twitch stuff sees this, they ban He's got 14,000 subs, uh, man. He got, nah, got 28,000. Yeah. Wait up. Hello? I just got perma That's back. what, that's what someone ever? needs to tell him, love, actually. That will... I did say that. Oh, you did say that? I said all that. Yeah. Well, I guess not. He's... Are you serious? I'm trying to listen, listen, listen. You're about to, you're in a rush anyway, so you have to focus on getting through security and making it to your flight on time. Yeah, that too. He's, he's worried about missing his flight because he's running so late. If you're going to do this, I'll cancel the flight. Really? That's a good friend. Really? Finally. Yeah, His friend says, I'm canceling the flight if you do this. He just saved your life, Please Lucy, like legit. Airport. Some idiot watching will call the airport and tell them you're going to do something. Yes. I'm sorry, but it's the nature of dumbasses online. All right, I think he gets cut through to him. It's, it's, it's settling in. Yeah. H3 loves ya, yeah, they're trying to help. Mega. When Ice Poseidon streamed at the airport, his gate got docked. Hey, Mega Ozzy, you're doing it. Oh, is that, that Mega Ozzy? Yeah, yeah. On Twitch. Oh. Stay safe, Bowsy, all love. Oh, thank you so much for the 20 bomb, mega awesome. I understand now. <laughs> oh, Avery got to do it. Hell yeah, yeah, I understand now. Yo, Avery, you're amazing, yeah, always. Being wavery. In everything you do. He does with no one else. Let's just, let's just give him 20 bucks. I'm he not rocks, so he can bomb for, really um, say so what we I'll want. Before I get into the airport. Yeah, Avery's our, Avery's our uh, uh, transcriber. It's, it's so close to July 15th. Is it July 15th tomorrow? tomorrow. Yeah. Can somebody donate? Yeah. Yeah. I'll pay you back. I can't. I can't. I can't. How much Thank do we need a donate to get a, a voice? I can't. One. You know, I donate, literally make gonna... the news for a bomb threat the day before July 15th. I'm literally done for life. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Don't it's do not it. Worth it. It's not worth <laughs> it. Thank you so much, Honey Mellow, for the subscription. It's not worth right. it, dog. Tell me when you're writing it, AB. Uh, I think he got it. Tier one subscription. He got welcome, it. welcome. He got it. Galaxy Catney, thank you so much. Are you, are you ready? It, yeah, good. So it. say, don't do it. You're gonna get banned on Twitch. You're gonna lose everything. Also, I think there's a character limit. Um, they should yeah, the there's the 200. So where are we now? Don't do it. You'll get banned on Twitch. You will lose everything. And as do we have more space? Yeah, we have 186 characters. Say, and Ryan Kavanaugh. Ryan Kavanaugh did it? As a force of nature. Uh, no. <laughs> can we say Ryan Kavanaugh? And we can say Ryan Kavanaugh, yeah. And Ryan Kavanaugh looks like someone? Or? Ryan Kavanaugh. Does Ryan Kavanaugh look like Harvey Weinstein.com? He just goes, got a bunch of gifted and now he's, he's going to continue. No, he's not. He's not. There's no way. There's no way. His friend said he's going to cancel the flight. Oh, gifted. Okay, See, so do don't do it. You'll get banned on Twitch. You will lose everything. And does Ron Kevin all look like HarveyWeinstein.com? Oh, it fits? Yeah. Great, let's do it. That's a good plug for us, actually. Yeah. Oh my god, so many subscriptions are coming in, it's not even showing. That's what's up, bro. It's fucking wild. I'm almost at the airport, y'all. A couple of minutes. Okay, so I'm sticking around. <laughs> I gotta make sure he I gotta make sure he turns it off. Inside. We we all have been here for the ride. We have to make he sure. He just said he's going to take everyone Traffic inside. Con- Traficante did no one, fucking two, way. three, four, yeah, he just, he five, get six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, it's too much Traficante juice. Traficante with ten gifts. The juice is loose. Give your Everyone's gifting him one, two to give him If the driver can hear Walk this, take him back home. Driver, turn around. Turn around. <laughs> That'd be a good donut. Did you donate? Yeah. Okay, good. I'm listening. End it as soon as you get off the Uber. Because yes. people can do anything. Yes. Stay safe and we will see you when you land. Sir, can I w- ask you a question? Auto. No. Yeah. He's hoping he'll say yes. If I recorded inside the gym, do you think I would get in trouble? I mean, inside the airport? I don't know exactly. I just drive an Uber, bro. Uh, Come on, bro. Say yes. Rules. Oh, He's been listening to us list the rules. Count it up. Count it up. Yeah. Count it. Wait. Don't do it. You will get banned on Twitch. You will lose everything. And does Ryan Kavanaugh look like HarveyWeinstein.com? <laughs> okay. I think it got through to him, though. Wow, Abstar. Abstar. Hey, give you shivers. Thank you so much. Okay. No problem. He I'm going to listen to Abstar Killer. Okay. Shout out, AB. 
I'm sure. showing your boxing match, dog. Oh, he knows who you are. No one knows what it takes to get into the fucking hey, ring. Oh, that's what's hey, awesome. You're getting in the ring, dog. You got so many fans. It's awesome to see. I will turn that off, y'all. Thank oh, I do I love that. Uh, Habib, right there, there you go. We love you. Dude, we legit. Just, I, we, we, get it. Oh we get it. We get it. We get it. We get it, folks. <laughs> I think he's just gonna turn it off, off before he gets flying. to security. Because he said before, I'm gonna bring you guys in. Oh, it's it's better than what we have. Before. I gotta make sure he. We gotta hold him accountable. Yeah, yeah. Look, I've already done more for him than Keemstar ever has. I haven't given him beef jerky and cheese, granted, but. Did he just hit us with an ad? Yeah, he's rolling Bro, you just hit us with the ad. What you see? Come on. You gonna play me like that? I, I got I'm going till it gets to the airport. We're invested now. Here. Where are we? We're invested. Uh -huh. I'm looking for the scary music. Verizon's 5G network. Let's go. Let's go. A 5G. 5G. Let's G. go. 5G AF. Oh, I'm excited about for Oppenheimer, by the way. Oppenheimer? Is anyone excited for that? Barbie. Yeah, I, I'm definitely gonna go. Check By it all out. accounts, it seems like it's gonna, gonna be a great do the, film. What do they call it? The Barbenheimer double Barbenheimer feature. Barbenheimer double feature. Back to back. Oh, the Barbenheimer. It comes yeah. out the same day, and a lot of people are booking double features. I, I'm Barbie less excited about Barbie, to be honest. I, there's so much hype about that movie. I just, I don't, I, see, I don't see it. You're didn't not really care Barbie? at all until I started seeing some of the clips for it, and it genuinely seemed pretty funny. I don't know. Yeah, but it seems like it it's it's very self-aware and. Uh, goofy. My hope is that it would be like some kind of like almost like a Truman Show esque, like I a think it... psychological thriller. <laughs> but I don't think it is. I think it's just a goofy comedy. <clears throat> Damn, it's a long commercial. What the fuck? Yeah, man? zero five odds. All right, he's back. He's back. What well, we did for so today. So. Even though it's a big deal, but my new model in life is. If there's nothing you can do about it, if the damage is done and it's your fault, I could cry about it for the next two years. So he's going to do it? Yeah. Wait, that doesn't support your theory. Wait, is that him saying, like, you know what? It's my decision. I'm doing it. We said if there's nothing you can do about it, you can do everything about it. No, I don't have his number. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> literally. Well, we don't know that that's what he's talking about. about. To, to not do him, it. If anything. Do I even follow him? I think I unfollowed him. Is he following you? I think he's talking about someone else. Oh, uh, sorry, Ethan, not this time. Oh, he's getting close, you guys. I can feel it. I don't follow him. He unfollowed me, too. No, that's the HC podcast. Oh, oh no, he is talking Klein. about you. Did we follow What's him? His name? He's Papa following Blast. you right now. I'll follow him right Papa now. Rod, Wait, what, what does that mean? On Twitter, he's following you. Oh, I Papa follow Dom? him, too. What is he? Let me he's, see if you ever DM me his phone he's number. Gonna... He's oh, yeah, it's right here. He's gonna leak your number. My phone nine, number? Nine, four, five, six, seven, no. three. He did, he did, he did, he did, he did. What the fuck did he just say? Wait, wait. Delete that clip. Delete that clip. Delete that clip. Oh my god. Oh my god. He just leaked your number. Wait. Wait. What no. just happened? Delete that clip. No. Delete that clip. What no. the fuck just happened? <laughs> he just leaked your number. What just I didn't happened? Hear, I didn't hear the number he no, said. Can no, I go back? Mind. It didn't sound oh, like it. Guys, I I just, just, I don't it understand. sounded like he was counting to 10, story, honestly. Yeah, that's what I did okay. too. Because I, like I was like, I didn't hear my number. A lot of times. I can't I like go through that again. A lot of times. Did it troll us? Don't risk it all for a few moments of attention. You're so right. Who do I got to shout out? I just got a subscription. By the way, if you're new here, I don't like to miss any gifted or subscriptions. Y'all are spending your hard-earned money. I recently went broke and no, like I know what money is now. I never knew to know what money is. He's so I'm able to say I, I do think he's bro. I mean he's so, making money so, right now. So much. But I do think so he lost everything after the Drake prime right. at the Greek fiasco. Tier one, Magic Dude, Uzi 1990 with the five, the pizza man with the gifted, give your shit. people say that he did a number. Gifted, it would have been your old number though, right? It wasn't your number. I just Thank went back. Let me check. see what I messaged him. Right. Who right, reads a phone Because it would have been a while ago before the recent incident, right? Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. I mean, right, so... But let but me see I, what I went back and looked. It wasn't your number. Okay. okay, so, if I look in the DM, I did send him my Nick, phone number. Can I stream at the airport? But it's my old number. Right, that's that's, that's what I figured. So yeah. either, but it's, it sounds like Cam just said he just went back and it was just a troll. Okay. You can call me, Fussy. Should I call him? 
Can you also update mm. He might leak your number. Uh, he's going to leak your number, dude. He's, he's, so. he's recording the screen all the time. Can you also like, put title um, on the airplane heading to Houston and also put on a pin comment? I don't know. When he gets arrested at the airport, you're going to be the last number called. Uh -huh. that. Hey, That's shout right. out Kept Nice for the subscription. Big one month. This sucks. We just got H3, H3 watching, and instead of capitalizing and showing the 2,000 new people, we're telling you not to do it. We're here. The airport. That's such bad timing. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a. There's no, a reason why no, we're, we're here, here right to now. Save you, bro. We're here to save you. <laughs> All right. He thinks it's All just right. a today, coincidence. Today is different than any other because you are about to stream at the airport. That's why <laughs> yeah. we're watching right now. He thinks because you have to stop. All right, y'all. Oh. Is this it? All right, y'all. I appreciate y'all. Yes. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for the support. We're not ending. Uh, I'm just going on wait. the plane for a couple of hours. Oh. I'm just going on the plane for a couple of Did he end it? He can oh, have yeah, a service yeah. that continues this stream without him actually ending it. Okay, but he, I think he officially ended it. He's, he's not, yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank God. Yeah, yeah, nice. yeah, 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 yeah. Avery said when uh, there was an ad break, uh, <laughs> he said that we are right and he trusts all of us and won't do it. He doesn't want to lose it all. And he thanked me uh, specifically, Avery said. Yeah. Nice. Shout out ad killer. Yo, I feel like we did a good deed here today. Yeah. I started off goofing a lot uh, at these clips, and then we ended up saving his whole life and career. It's beautiful. Yeah. He would have gone broken up the second time there. Here's an example of what would have happened. Watch this. Count it up. Count it. In Best Buy. Text from mom. Son, please do not shoot up the Best Buy. Yeah. You have so much to live, but so do not hurt the employees. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, you don't want happening this happening at... in an airport. Yeah, exactly. You're a piece of shit. 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 The security guard looks. Bro. Watch him go live when he's on the airplane. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks he's good. <laughs> he bought the in flight yeah. Wi Fi. He's yeah. like, I got it. I got it. All right. I think we can uh, leave with a healthy and a good conscience. We've done something great today, people. <laughs> Feel good. And I hope that he's taking his mental health uh, seriously as well. But uh, we support you, Fousey. I, I. I. <laughs> and also, it's okay to be gay. I hope you understand that. I, Genuinely. I. The Freudian slip was received. I. So who is I, gay? So who is gay? I felt gay. <laughs> All right, guys, I actually do have to go now. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. What a magical week it's wow. been. A magical Friday. We've had uh, ups and downs, Indeed. twists and turns. Brian Singer, don't sue me, but it's fine if you want to. You know what I mean? Um, People are pointing out that AB just saved another life. Wow. <laughs> There you go. Add another one to your uh, roster, baby. Yep. Thank you, thank you. Just what I do. Oh, Fusi just followed me. I know. We we talked about it. I just got notified. Let's go. I said, New Good BFF shit, arc. Glad you are not streaming the airport. <laughs> there it is. All right. What more is there to say? Have a fantastic weekend, my friends. I love you. Thank you to all of our honored members who make such a big difference. We love you guys, the members. We love you, and thank you. We love everybody. And, uh, well, we'll be back on Monday for another week of fantastic shows because this is the A Street Podcast. Nobody does it like us. Good job uh, on the sound bites. Thank you. Good job, Olivia, on the Thank sound you. today. Sorry. I had so much fun. Thank you so much, I Zach, for allowing me. And Zach will be back on Monday. Yes. Yes, indeed. This is tough. Yeah, he's he definitely has a gift. His fingers must be in so much oh, yeah. pain. He's, he's a musician. Al always, you know? like the entire time. He plays it like a guitar. Yeah. He's good with his fingers, I hear. All right, everybody. Be good. <laughs>